All right, now we should be good. Cool. I need to put that on silent. Oh, I just got the, the alert. Well, that's good news. Whatever junkies live stream. All right. <laughs> Throw in the other chat real quick the link for it. Just a second. Cool. Maybe. Mm, what's going on? It's trying to load the web page. It's really having an issue with that. Is. This is just going to be the one night we have issues with our internet. That'd be hilarious. You're just upgrading. God damn it. All right. New one's up, it looks like. We're good. Where's your computer melting down? It is plugged in, right? Mm-hmm. Has to be. Has to be. Should just turn it off right as soon as I unplug it. I forgot it doesn't charge anymore. Oh, 100%. Cool. Um, Google Chrome, you have 18 processes going. Oh. Why? That's <laughs> all good. All right. Turn off all oh, your... Um, add-ons. But I have these two windows open. That's it. Oh, that's frightful. No. I don't think I need two open. So one would probably do. Do you have chat up, Chris? Yep. Cool. We're good. We do. Already got twenty-two in here, boys. Oh shit! Howdy. We in it. Welcome to my we basement. Kind of. We're kind of in it. I'm trying to get the old chat up on the event without my computer exploding into a billion pieces. Yeah. I'm going to prop it up. Prop. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I was going to say, just use this uh, Tupperware. Perfect. Put it right in the middle. You can. There, perfect. All right. We got her. All right. Due to YouTube hating collaboration. <laughs> like always. A little delayed. Also due to... Um, Us. Just us. Mainly Sean. No. We decided to do it at his house. I assume he would, you know, have the place where we were going to do it and shit, but. I don't know why you'd assume that. I know. Okay, Sean, so you got a nice setup too, though. First time seeing that. Uh, Yeah. it uh, It's not quite the uh, the garage with, you yeah, know, right. 100 bottles. I have a, I have well, I'm those. actually missing a lot. They're at the garage right now. Yeah. Got to show them off. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, nothing, nothing really too fancy in there right now. <laughs> mm. What is up, guys? Joseph, Brad Woods, oh, Andrew right. Spurrell. I'm just trying to get chat up, and then we are good to go. You're good. Skid Mox in the chat. Oh, Skid hey, McMarks. I'm pretty sure. Was that the person who just joined us on Patreon? Skid McMarks? Ooh. No, it was Dippy, Mc, Dippy McDip. Sorry, I got the names confused. They're so far, they're so These different. Names. <laughs> Dippy right. also just joined mine as well. So thank you, Dippy. Nice. A gentleman and a scholar you are. All right, so here we are. Chat will eventually come up, I'm sure. Uh, in the <laughs> meantime, uh, you have it up, so you're good. Yeah. Um, so he's naming things. In the meantime, hopefully everybody can see us and like the audio and the video is working, I guess. Um, we got a new mic, so yeah. hopefully that'll help. Yeah, there's a chat. Um, yeah, so welcome back to another live stream. Perfect. Um, we're doing this with Mr. Bourbon Sane because we went and hung out with him on Friday, last Friday, yep, down at Valentine in Detroit. Uh, we met up down there and uh, ended up having like a really good time. Yeah. And then I uh, ended up hanging out afterwards, going to a, a bar or two or a few or however many. <laughs> Might have accidentally made our way into a karaoke bar. Not by choice. Yeah, I think that happened. 
But yeah, uh, if you haven't watched Bourbon Saints channel, go over, check it out. Uh, he does whiskey reviews. Looks like you're getting into a, a couple new things with, uh, I saw like the, mm -hmm. uh, the, was it the on the road one? Yeah, I did. Um, that was just me drinking at a bar. Like, uh, you know, I don't, <laughs> okay. I, I don't really film on location like that too much, but I want to do more of that stuff. Obviously with going to Valentine and stuff, we got a lot more stuff we can do with that. So sure, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, we had an absolute blast. So, uh, yeah, we yeah. all got to hang out, got to meet your wife. Gabby came and hung out for a little mm -hmm. while, and now we're trying to plan another trip. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, honestly, guys, you you already are watching the junkies, so you know. But like these guys don't bullshit anything. Like what you see on camera is like legitimately <laughs> what they are at the bar. You know, after twenty yeah. drinks. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, that was 20 drinks as a table not not for person. yeah 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 but know. um needless to say yeah um yeah i don't i don't we, know we exchanged um, a couple samples yeah um couple. so no we exchanged a couple samples to chris and then chris us box. threw us like a trump card and was like <laughs> fuck you bitches and then gave us <laughs> 32 samples to go through so it um it, here, it is it literally a sample box plus one i'm pretty sure yep. yeah no so um now you know i was thinking that we would kill this bottle tonight holy fuck i didn't think it was this full we would die so. but i was gonna get a sample bottle because um in the chaos of us shooting with chris and uh going to valentine trying to figure it all out what happened was we didn't end up getting um uh we didn't get end up getting able to like test or taste jolene with him and that no. was like the point mm -hmm. of bringing it down yeah. so no, because uh, Rafino just kept giving us samples of everything. Um, yeah. Their vodka. I'm not a huge vodka person, nor a giant gin person. They're mm -hmm. both amazing. Yep. You should support Valentine and buy that stuff. Um, but then we got to try the all the others. And then directly from the tank, their new black label, which was amazing. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. That's what the bottle's going to say. It'll say yeah. seven here because it's a mixture of, what, 10, 12, and seven? 11, 11, 12, and seven. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he said about 90% is the 11, yeah. 11 and 12 stuff, so. If you see a black label Mayor Pingree with a seven on the label, buy. definitely buy it. Immediately, immediately, yeah. no questions. I emailed him a couple days ago, so we should be getting a bottle, but. Yeah. Um, he's. Yeah, it was interesting. I emailed him to talk about it, to talk about getting a bottle and thank him for, you know, he spent he spent at least two hours. Two hours, with us, yeah. At least. Yeah. And um, that, that was a really, really, really cool tour. Yeah. <clears throat> like, we did the old Forrester one, which I was like, that's a cool tour. But, I mean, just to get to see from basically start to finish yeah. their entire process mm -hmm. was really cool. Yeah. The distillery, I guess, was probably the size that I expected it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what 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 was uh let's start with this what was your what was the thing you were most surprised about Chris when we went at Valentine I know you went to Detroit uh, mm -hmm. Distillery or Detroit City and then you went yeah. to uh, to James too but yeah yep what were you most surprised about with the uh, Valentine stuff well I think just Rafino like the man himself like coming to give us the personal tour of everything yeah. mm -hmm. and you could just tell the way he was talking about it from like a business point of things I mean he really has such a passion for it yeah mm -hmm. that was really cool to see like that perspective from more than just about like the whiskey alone but also like the business side of things is that really interests me you know I, I like that kind of side of it too so yeah dude I was um I was genuinely surprised about how much he cared about it being in Detroit oh yeah um, he, you know, like with the Liberator, I didn't know why it was named Liberator until yeah. we talked to him, but yep. uh, Liberator was based on Detroit. Mayor Pingree is obviously based on Detroit. It was one yeah. of the mayor's names in the past. Um, and then, like, it was just kind of like, I mean, he talked about he like it being in Detroit because it, it's like the city of manufacturing. Yeah. Like, that's why. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. you could really tell that he had a, a genuine passion yeah. for the product that he's putting out. I was, I was blown away by the, like... I don't know where he's from. You think he's Italian? I have no idea. No accent at all. No. Just no. a tan white guy, probably. <laughs> he, really cool. Maybe he might like I was but when I emailed back and forth with him based on his name, I'm like, I don't know anything about him, you know. No. Um I would assume he's maybe like of a somehow Italian or something, but uh I know he's generous. 
I was shocked yeah. because I think that's why it surprised me so much about all the Detroit stuff. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, you're probably from somewhere else, I would imagine, yeah. with the with the name, or maybe his family was. Maybe that's it. But <laughs> wow, pulling up our own stream to watch well, an ad. I want to see the quality, and I'm gonna watch this whole ad. If you guys are wondering, I'm getting this <laughs> cent and a half off this ad. All right, <laughs> all right. not even. I just want to see what the quality looks like. You're so. getting a half a cent off this ad. All right, cool. <laughs> If you can't support yourself, who else is going to support you? Right? Yeah, man, listen, if you don't like your own videos, you can't do it. <laughs> Wait, so is this through Hangouts then, or is it through YouTube? So we're collaborating through Hangouts, yep. streaming to YouTube. Because yep. Google owns both, and Google it's decided crap. we have this yeah. incredible platform where everybody shares content, but we have no collaboration tool. So let's tie in the thing that's dying, yeah. so on and so forth, whatever. So it yep. should be- no, Hangouts only does 720. 720. Yeah. Dang it. So Hangouts throttles it to 720, and then Google or YouTube is like, bro, you can stream 4K if you want. Yeah, give it a shot. I bet we can. Here, <laughs> yeah, on your I internet, guarantee yeah. we could. I've got 50 up and 50 down. <clears throat> All right, so um, unfortunately, we only gave Chris two samples because uh, you know it didn't really bring 47. Um, yeah. It's really fine. And uh, uh, well, the best part is uh, we gave him Peerless. Yes. For fun, <laughs> which I can't wait to try. <laughs> for funsies, and we gave him what was the other one? Uh, I Lock thought we gave Black Blue and sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say I thought it was a Listen, scotch. I couldn't. On another it. topic, Chris, you watch Game of Thrones? Hell yeah! Oh, dude, it is about to be Game of Thrones fucking time, bro. This I Sunday, right? Is it Sunday? I think it's this Sunday. I just saw uh, an ad today. I swear. Oh no! Wait, it's the fourth. Wait, is that this Sunday? Today's the That's ninth. Sunday. Yeah, okay, yes, fourteen. My heart's racing. And yeah. I'm fully erect. Well, he gave us a lovely sample of Ardbeg. I'm not going to try to pronounce the end of that. Oh, I got you. It's uh, you get that Dale up. <laughs> <laughs> give, or take, give or take three syllables on that name. That's I think it's just Dale. That's all I say it. Yeah. Uh, I don't okay. know if that's right, but I'm not a I'm not a Scotch guy yet, so. Uh, yeah, you'll Sean, actually like that though, Dan. You said you like the Ardbeg Ten. You're gonna like that Ugadale. It's on another yeah, level. Got two scotches. All right, so let's do this. Let's just you know what. I'm going to get a couple blannies out. Oh, right? I already opened one. Which one? Which one are you drinking? Um, I am currently drinking the Elijah Craig Small Batch Rishi's International Beverage. You ever been to Rishi's? I have not. Rishi's was the first store I ever bought a uh, Midwinter Nights Dram in. He sold it to oh. me for $115, and I bought it because it was summertime. Yeah. <laughs> and he kept That's it in the back. One concern for he gave it to me for $115. <laughs> he brought it out like you're going to buy it no matter what the price is. And you were like, <laughs> he handed it to the cashier. And he went, go ahead and ring him up. I'm like, whoa, 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 Chach, if that's 150. That's pretty good. That's it. Reminds me of. Oh, that's uh, nutty. It reminds me of the, like, Offerman 61. Okay. It's really nutty. What are you drinking, Chris? Peerless. This is one of the Buffalo Traces I sent you. Uh, Riverside. Dude, grab it. If I could find it. Grab it. You don't Sean, Sean, I could have poured the light. I didn't know he was in that yet. Yeah. Riverside, look at that. Fifth time. Dude. All right, let's get that bad boy out. The box of glass. Okay, so everybody who's in here, um, I have chat open now, finally. And so oh, nice. we're about, you know, forever behind. There have been sorry. a lot of comments, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but we will – it'll be a little bit harder to respond to everybody's comments since we're doing a little collab, collab. here. But we will get to comments for sure. Promise. Because this is this is why we do it. We love uh, interaction. interaction. So here's a great question. Mike M just asked the chat to the room: If both are the same price, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or Stag Junior? I will, and I know my answer. I will punch a toddler to avoid Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. <laughs> uh, now here's the thing: I do have a bottle. Of but Stag you're an Junior Elijah here, Craig fan, and I don't have a bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Uh. Okay, so, I already know where Chris was going because Chris is not on board with our answer. Uh, I know nope, already know that right nope, now. No, no, you're my answer is going to surprise you. I think. Really? Well, not not completely, but oh, so, so I'll go first. To me, it's it depends on the batch. Okay, I've had four, like I think four different batches of Stag Junior. I have a couple unopened, but and I mean, I've tried six different batches of the Elijah Craig over the last two years or whatever. Okay, and like. Some of the Elijah Craig's are, are much better than the Stags, but it's a completely different flavor profile. Mm-hmm. It really is, you know. So it's really more what you're in the mood for. Here's what I think: Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is actually like a staple in the industry for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sean is a humongous fan of Elijah Craig. 
That's why I, I grabbed the Elijah yeah. Craig first because I was like, you won't even like it. I'll I'm not a huge fan, but <laughs> but the thing about it is oh, we've only you've probably had one. I know you've had one, maybe two Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Three batches. Three. You've not had three. Um. Yes, I have. Two of these will be lies. Go ahead and tell me the other two. You own two. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm only referring to new ones. Oh, uh, okay. Because we can't. Like, if, if it's stag batch nine in anything else, I'm gonna pick stag nine. Um, you know what I mean? Let's okay. talk new. Okay, so I've only had like two new ones then. So that's the thing. Because I had one at a bar because that was like by far the best okay. deal that they had. Okay. And then the one that you have. I think realistically, if you went through and you tried a bunch of them, I think you could pick some out that would yeah. probably match a stag junior for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. If I went through and picked them out, I still don't think I could, honestly. It's just yeah. not my profile. It's not for me. It's just Weak. Not. Hey, there's no problem. If you don't like it, I'll I'll take it from you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I know how to one charm in Midland. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. What is it? C918? B. I see sure the one C. that they, they see. It's C. Oh, yeah. C918. Okay. There's some in Midland for 80 if somebody wants it. So 80? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the, the tough point for a lot of people. That really is. All right. What do we got for comments here? We'll go into comments for a little bit before we get too distracted. That's gonna be the entire theme of the night. I know. <laughs> Mash and drum says ECBP hands down more consistent. So now that's the thing. Sag batches are not consistent. Um, no, I think they're mm -hmm. extremely. I, I think they have way bigger highs and lows than I yeah. Out of any of the but stags. I think the best Sag Junior absolutely murders the best Elijah Craig. I don't know. We've had the best Elijah Craig. I don't believe it exists because <laughs> I don't think there's a good one. You know what I mean? C nine one seven is the best of the last two C years. Okay, I think. Okay. All right. But it's, uh, yeah, if you don't like it though, you know, that's what I Yeah, I'm, it's just one of those. I don't, it's like, I don't like a lot of Heaven Hill products, which is interesting because oh. I respect Heaven Hill mm -hmm. for being gigantic and like murdering the bourbon game. I know why my cabinet's so empty. Huh. All my store picks. Yeah, are they're all on my, you know, I was, you know, I said to myself, bring these all to Sean. And then I brought none. So I brought my <laughs> whiskey. I was like, I would I really, I'd like to put this next to Austin's awesome store pick. It's really good. This is really. It doesn't really even. Good. It's almost that Buffalo Trace, Chris, that you're drinking. Almost is non Buffalo Tracy. No. It's almost like a. Uh, it's almost like a more oaky Elmer or something. It's really oaky. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's mm -hmm. a that's a really good way to put it. It's like a nice oaky Elmer. Yeah. Oaky chocolate. That's delicious. Mike M said Stag Junior is fifty five dollars here and always in stock. Well, well, that's crazy. Cool. That must be nice. Yeah. Right? I, I didn't buy one at Meyer, but I already had two. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't know. I wouldn't like that's, stock up on either, yeah. but. If if I could find more seven or nine, that's that's what I'd really mm -hmm. go for. Because I have a seven, and Chris gave us a sample of nine. Amazing. Nine was ridiculous. Yeah. So um, the next mm -hmm. thing that we're trying to do here. At some point, we'll drink some of these and talk about these for a little bit. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, and what we're trying to do is now <clears throat> getting a group together and maybe going up to Iron Fish um, in Michigan, which is another distillery. They have a farm up there, so mm -hmm. hopefully we can. Uh, well, we met the the owner. Yeah, we did a barrel pick with him. Yeah, not mm -hmm. of Iron Fish. We didn't. We, yeah, we didn't know who it was, yeah. and then <laughs> they were like, "Wait, you know who that is, right? It's the owner of Iron Fish." He's like, no, "Now I, I do. do now." Yeah, should have said that like I don't know an hour ago. Yeah, but right. Often, he was nice. Very nice guy. Yeah. Um, I've have you ever had an Iron Fish product? I haven't, no. Nope. I have not either. That's you. I'm on silent. I have not Steve either. Noob. Um, I've heard good things. I don't know anything about them. I know oh. I got a message that there's a farm and a pizza oven. That's all you really need, right? They're mm -hmm. like, look at this fat fuck. <laughs> You know what? He needs a big ass bed and a pizza oven. And Dan was in when your pizza oven. Sure. That's hard. I thought you just smoked that, Glenn. No, it was that. Okay. Whoa, bro! Just murdering my table. No, huh? this is really like it's this. a family heirloom. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's an heirloom. Heirloom. Okay. All right. It's old. What do you want to drink, Chris? Do you want to go into Pingree stuff? Do you want to go to samples? What do you want to do? Uh, we can we can go back and forth. All right. I only have the I only oh, have the red label for Pingree. But... Really good. What was that? I only have the red label for Pingree, but we can still go back and forth. Okay. So, yeah, that was the thing. So, we can talk about some of our trip. We'll do red label. Yeah. Uh, so, we this, went down there. And this one's exciting. And uh, Here, bro, just throw that I had, like, I, I was really excited. I had a high expectations for the trip. Dan's excited. Mm -hmm. about yeah. But the trip ended up being, like, 
as good as our Kentucky trip. And we stayed within the state. Yeah. I mean, I think I liked the trip more than our Kentucky trip. Probably, it was less stressful for sure. Yeah. Because we were only two hours yeah. away instead of seven. And we weren't on like a time crunch to get back. No. Well, you were staying down there. Chris was staying down there. I was just driving back whenever we were done. So, so Valentine. Uh, Dan probably should have stayed down there. Let me just say that for the record. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was so tired, dude. Nope. If you were if you were watching him on Instagram, that was dude. that was just pure gold watching live him on Instagram. Home. Did you know this? No. Yeah, I live streamed on Instagram on the way home. Oh, it's hilarious. So I could talk to somebody. So I was so uh, tired. Guess what? I might have come up with the greatest idea ever. You get tired in the car. No, because so here's how I did it. A little behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm in the Volt. Yep. Driving, right? Okay. Got my hand, phone in my hand. But my, my hand's resting on the shifter, and I don't have to look at the camera. Every once in a while, I'm doing this. Read a comment. You know, I have a lot of opinions, right? A few. So I rant for a little bit. <laughs> read another comment. Talk some shit. Dude, it passed an hour of time like that, and I never, ever fell asleep, like at all. Well, I'm glad you didn't die, dude. A best <laughs> case scenario. I was. I pulled over to a rest stop. Like, I was so tired. I pulled over to a rest stop and I got out and started walking around the rest area because I was like, I got to wake up. I and literally checked over. in the morning to make sure you posted something on Instagram so that you knew you were alive. Because I was alive. I stopped the Insta stream like on uh, like what, three miles from my house probably. And then, um, Chris, you don't know this part yet. This part, I was like, it was pure panic, dude. And this kept me awake for the rest of the three miles because, oh. <laughs> dude, you don't know how scared I was. I was te- I text you. Sean's like texting me to get home. Yeah. I get in, I'm I'm like turn out of my road. I'm like three miles away from my house. And as I'm sitting there, I'm like, holy shit. Where's we had two SD cards, one in the camera still. Oh. And one was in my pocket all night long. Because um we we maxed it out at yeah. Valentine. So Sean handed it to me. I threw it in my pocket. I've never ever had an issue with losing an SD card. Which is shocking. <laughs> yeah, that's like the only thing. But so I throw my pocket and I'm I'm like almost home. I reach in my pocket and I'm like, I don't feel an SD card. That's super weird. I was so worried. I pulled over on the side of the road and got out. When you were two miles away. I was two miles away from yeah. my house. It was a <laughs> turn around and right. head back up to Detroit. Yeah. Well, so here's all I could think was the volt key was in my pocket. And when I pulled the volt key out, it fell out in the parking lot because I pulled the volt key out when I was talking to Chris standing in the parking lot. It's a proximity key. Why do you have to get it out? Because I leave it in the vault. I don't I don't leave it in my pocket. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh shit. We lost a full 64 gig card worth <laughs> of data yeah. or the video. And all I could think is that for the 64 we lost was everything at the distillery. Mm-hmm. So it was like that was the whole point of us going down there. So I got home and I start going through like every I'm like, get out. I check under the seat. I'm like looking everywhere. Pizza. And all of a sudden I pull the seat aside because nothing can really fall down in between the seat and the bolt because the pad touches the center console. And I pull aside and I don't see it. And I'm like, I'm just like, my heart sank like, motherfucker. It was a lot of fun, but I'm really upset that we lost that. <laughs> and I'm, there, I'm like, some fucking homeless person is going to come pick up an SD card, sell it for crack. That person's now going to have all our content. God, you're getting judgy. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> so... I moved the seat all the way forward and I see like this little crack. I had already moved it when I sent you the picture. I see this little crack and it says PN and I'm like, it's a pony <laughs> SD card. <laughs> as long as there's a Y and I see green, it's got to be it. Well, then you remember how a long time ago I thought I lost one? Yeah. Then I, I found it. I took it inside. I'm like, awesome. I found it. And then I laid in bed and I went, wait, is that the one I think oh I lost? Gosh. So I had to go back downstairs at like three in the morning, plug it into my computer and see if what was on there. What was on there? Valentine's Distillery trip. Didn't lose it. I know because you text me and you were like, "Yeah, we have like three hours of <sighs> raw footage." Yeah, we have a lot. Yeah, we have a lot. But yeah, needless to say, um, that kept me awake the rest of the trip. You're so. a monster. That was terrible. Very stressful. Is this red? Yeah. We can finally talk about it. Ooh, we might just shoot a video on it too. Yeah. I feel like we should shoot a video and put it out. We yeah. should shoot a video. Chris can shoot a video. We'll put them out on the same day or something. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. I feel like I want to push it a little bit um, because we really like it. And yeah. he was so cool to let us like have that experience, basically yeah. a private experience down there. 100%. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. But, so I feel this like we should is, help them out. It, this is going to be really good because um, if you don't know, the Red Label is their own juice, uh, four years old. And usually we kind of poo-poo young whiskeys at that age. A lot of times. They they just smell and taste really young. Like they're very grainy. Dan will always say dusty corn or farmy. Yep. And um, pretty yeah. consistent. Yeah. And uh, this is like one of the like least farmy, dusty corn, young whiskeys that exist, I think, throughout the entirety of craft um, whiskey. That we've had. Yeah. That definitely that we've had, I would say. Yeah. Um, I would compare this to like how much we liked New Riff when we opened it, mm-hmm. the bottle and bond specifically. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, that was one we opened. And we're like, oh my god, this is amazing, and then went back to it and we're like, Ew. yeah, okay, it's young. Yeah, it opened up weird, but yeah, when I was at the distillery and I tried this for the first time. Now, granted, I was I did a distillery tour before this, so I had had quite a few <laughs> quite a few drinks already through, throughout the day at this point. So, but um when i uh when i tried it i said man this tastes like it's like seven or eight years like i really thought that's more what it was leaning towards you know yeah it definitely i agree that it, I, it like punches above the age that it's in for sure yeah um i would i would guess this to me tastes like something that they took in like a six to eight and blended it with some of their younger stuff yeah like, this feels kind of like one of those whiskeys where they start to introduce their own product mm-hmm. so that it'll slowly take over. Yeah. But the difference is it's just all their yeah. own product. So um, I would I would love to meet their uh, master blender that does all of their stuff because that man's got palate of God. Um, and yeah. does a really good job. We tried a lot of stuff that day and like everything. We're like, this is really good. Like, yeah. what the heck? And, he's, and um, Rafino is like, yeah, it's, it, I think Justin was his name. I don't are you remember. talking about the distiller yeah. blender? I don't know his I name. That was Justin. I don't that know. sounds right. <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah. I, I everything I attribute to him. Like he tells yeah. me, like on that one that's coming out at seven year, he's like, okay, uh, it's gonna sound mm, crazy, but true. we'll put that in there. Yeah, and it'll make it taste better. But you're gonna have to put a seven year age statement on it, and mm-hmm. whatever. It was amazing. And that's part of what's cool about him is like Rafino is like, let's do it. Yeah, like let's make a batch that's basically for like the. That batch is going to be for the enthusiast. Yeah, that's not buying it for the age statement. Yeah, he'd rather put out a better product yeah. with a younger age statement yeah. on it, just because it's a better product. Which in a craft environment, I think in a craft environment, even more than in a big environment, yeah. like speaks volumes oh, right. about them being a cool place. For sure. Now this this new bottle I just opened like today. I waited till the live stream to open this. No. It definitely tastes more grainy than at the distillery to me. Sure. I think some of it is like you were saying you had a distillery tour before then. Yeah. Right. Some of it, I'm sure, is us like we're hanging out. We're ba- like by definition, that's their Rick house. Yeah. That's their yeah. distillery, right? So we're in their distillery, cool environment. Everything's going to be like a little bit um, yeah. heightened yeah. because yeah. of it. Yeah. I still, I still think that the flavors that are here – are far superior are, than are another four year five whiskey. to seven six mm-hmm. seven year whiskey yeah. with a little bit of young whiskey in it like yeah. that's how i would describe um, it um ours had you'd we'd opened this before oh uh, well, you I, did. I opened it the other night yeah so ours has a little bit more air and i think um this is pretty close to what we actually mm-hmm. had at the distillery like right exactly. still like that little bit of youngness in there just a little it, it's, it's it's covered just, up yeah it really is it almost reminds me of like a younger rock like it's how I would think of a younger rye. Like it's how mm-hmm. I, when I see four year rye, I'm like, that's pretty young, but rye is going to cover up some of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's kind of how it feels. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Um, well, I don't know. We kind of got off. What, what was uh, your biggest surprise or um, uh, the red you... label? Okay. Because mm-hmm. we drank Rabbit Hole and New Riff before we, not the day of, but yeah. that week like on a Wednesday or something before we went mind. because I didn't want to like I didn't want to poo-poo it because it was four years like something that we don't do very well is come in with reasonable expectations like we do that very poorly on our channel right we do. so um unfortunately because of that we shit on a lot of stuff now sometimes it's entertaining but then sometimes we come back and we really like the whiskey that we yeah. shit on a while ago. I think we've always been pretty forthcoming on things that we've gone back to and we're like, we're wrong. If we've had time, if, yeah. if we thought about it, there's there's definitely stuff on our shelves we drink that we didn't like the first time we had it. Yeah. Right? But That's true. So anyways, the 
I didn't want, I wanted to come into it like, okay, let's ex, like, let's come in with a, an expectation of it's four years old. It's like 90 proof or whatever it is, 93. Um, you know, and let's compare it to a couple other like craft distilleries that make mm -hmm. a four year. Yeah. So we have a baseline. New Riff and Rabbit Hole seemingly are two of the really, really big craft craft distilleries on the uh, on the four year range. Yeah. Now I know Rabbit Hole's different with their honey malted barley's and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I know that New Riffs is bottled and bond, so they're not exact. But the, I wanted the age. I didn't want necessarily the proofs and the mash bills and whatever. So we still opened this and we had it and I was still shocked. Like the first drink, I'm like, it's like cinnamon. And it still is. And it's like cinnamon and sweet yeah. uh, whiskey with some oak in it. And then like there's that underlying like a little bit of yeah. corn dust and, and grain. It kind of peeks through that cinnamon oak and that's that's literally what we're drinking right now is it's still really cinnamon and really oak, a little just, bit of honey. It's not like the the star of the show isn't the, the corn. No. And not normally it is. Normally it is. So that was my biggest surprise. How about you? Um, for me, I would say um, just overall transparency of everything. That's true. Um, yeah. He was super inviting to just let us um, record basically everything. Mm -hmm. um, Literally I, anything we want to record, we could record. Yeah, like we went everywhere. I think we only had one or two conversations that weren't recorded, and that was mm -hmm. um, just more or less his proprietary stuff um, that mm -hmm. we – weren't allowed to say which that happened uh, i don't i still don't think he told us about anything he really didn't he you uh, tried yeah we did 14 try. no you tried I don't and he was like uh -uh. <laughs> and then you're like are you sure and he's like uh -uh. yeah and then you're like listen here uh uh and he's like yeah. uh -uh. <laughs> um, but yeah like he was just super um upfront about everything um and i thought that was crazy mm -hmm. oh, shit dude mike m says Haha, ha, leaves keys in his car. Hashtag Midwest living. Dude, listen, I go to work and I drive a pretty nice truck and I leave my keys in the ignition of my truck at work. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. No, no, but I'm saying like, it's not like a 98 Honda. Who cares if you leave the keys in a 98, 98 Honda, right? <laughs> but like, it, I, like, if I lost it, it would be a lot of money that I'm out, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, because the insurance yeah. company's going to be like, wait, where are the keys? In the ignition. Yeah, it wasn't All necessarily right. stolen. I kind of gave it to them in a weird way. <laughs> but I leave my keys in my truck in the ignition. You're a monster. I don't care. It's, dude, we live in a city. I have to badge into work through a gate yeah. and I still don't leave my keys oh, in Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that. So, yeah, I, there's no crime in our city. There's, there's very some, little there's crime some. in our city. But, all right, what do we got? Molten in Montreal says SD cards are worth so much to crack dealers. <laughs> <laughs> dude, more than crack. Dude, I would imagine you could get some drugs for, for like a 64 gig SD card. I don't imagine, <laughs> Actually, dude. okay, so I'll tell uh, Chris this. Um, I told Dan, I was like, it got into a weird night. We went out with some friends in um, for Oh, you're going into the story right now? Oh, yeah, I'll go right into it. Um, <laughs> speaking of crack, uh, we <laughs> just got into a bar fight later. Um, because someone Sean's like, almost 30. I'd like to preface. Yeah. This story. I, I, this is not where I saw my life going that night. Um, but <laughs> someone was trying to sell my girlfriend cocaine randomly as we we're trying to leave this bar. And, uh, I did not take kindly to this. And somehow the other couple we were with knew the guy and they were like, Hey bro, you gotta, you gotta get, <laughs> they got weird. Yeesh. <laughs> Yeah, I bought all the cocaine he had though. Right after that, so we're good. You <laughs> I know what I mean? It all worked out. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, we I'll got. Honest, uh, I would, I'd really like to see Sean get in a fight. That would be like the best day of my life. I could watch that. I, happen. I know. I I was telling. I think I told. Maybe I told Sean Opperman about it, like briefly, very briefly, or something. And I was like, I wish I was there to just like help Sean, like along. <laughs> like, let's just leave the bar. Like, let's not do this. That's like, what let's, we did. Let's not get stabbed in Detroit. Tonight. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> Damn. It's the new Royal Oak. Remember that a video? So we made a video a really long time ago, and somebody commented on it and called Sean a little bitch. And then <laughs> it was the proper call video. Oh, was it? Because is yeah. one is one comment I'll never ever forget. They called, clearly are. They called Sean. No, I don't remember what video is. It's oh. one comment I'll never forget. They called Sean a little bitch, and then said he's the kind of guy that talks shit and then lets me deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go get in a fight with a coke dealer. Yeah, you yeah. know. I wasn't there. No. You proved that guy wrong. Yeah, exactly. That guy's a fucking tool. <laughs> uh, Chris said, uh, told you guys Rafino was a cool dude. I forgot Chris had met him. Chris had told oh, us that. He's yeah. super cool. For Very real. Cool. For real. 
Oh, the booger you, sugar. I can you, see that coming. Have you ever had, um, Chris, have you ever had um, anything from Journeyman? No, I, I've always passed on the bottles just because, okay. you know, the price tag and you're not sure what you're, you know, you're not sure what you're getting. So I, I, I haven't, but I don't, I don't necessarily blame it. I've only had, I had one thing back before I got into whiskey. Somebody recommended it to me and I was like kind of in and I wasn't really into You've had it. Other yet. Ones. I'm, now I have yeah, like the other day. But up until then, I had and, one um, bourbon. I don't know what it was. At but. Witchcraft, you had their flight, I thought. That was Traverse City. Oh, that shit. was terrible, too. Oh, bad. Not all <laughs> Traverse City is bad, but that flight was bad. <laughs> um, because Jack of All Blades said, have you had Journeyman Silver Cross, which I believe is the four grain. Silver Cross Could is be. the four grain. I'm, I don't know. I'm 99.9% nine. sure. We have it. And I've heard if you go to the distillery, they have a hundred proof four grain mm. or a cast ring four grain. Okay. And it's really good. So it'd be like the 80 laws. Something like that. Yeah, maybe. but I heard like the one it, we can only get the distillery, but the cast strength or hundred proof. I don't remember which is amazing. Apparently, you just want to randomly oh. pick one. Um, sure. Give me like you're the claw. Yeah. Mm. Down. Mm. <laughs> oh, you work. <laughs> oh God, no. What is it? Oh, okay. We gotta wait to drink that because at some point we'll we'll have that and drink scotch. We'll take that out of the, the that plug scotch. In. At some point tonight we'll have scotch. Oh yeah, you don't, you don't want to ruin your palate yet. Not yet. Um, I don't want that one either. I lied. This is this is no longer. Oh, that'd be a good one. What do you think about that? Okay, what you doing there? I'm Mount Creek. Some. I'm reading some comments, man. Oh. Do it, dude. Kill it. Chug it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, um, we have so much content, and Chris has so much content from mm. Valentine weekend. Now, you have content from all three distilleries, I'm assuming? Yeah. Dude, you must have so much fucking content. I, I, I've literally, I tried to start editing, like, the val Valentine video. Yeah. And I got, like, seven minutes of footage done, and it took me so many hours. I don't even yeah. want to, like, honestly, like, Ugh. it's just ridiculous. I'm, like, just... I'm putting it off for a second. I need like two days to just rest, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's we have like two and a half or something like that. We right? had a hundred gigs of video <laughs> oh, shot God. at 4K, yeah. which is like 130 minutes or something Jesus. like that. So that's crazy. Well, yeah. So we just, just from Valentine, we only went to one. Chris went to three. Yeah. We have, okay. So let's put it this way. The Thursday, this Thursday will be our first, our part one. It's going to be two parts. Yeah. Um, unless this, you want to watch a movie, yeah. This Thursday is going to be <laughs> it's 25 minutes, yeah. We haven't drank whiskey yet. Spoiler alert, that's where it's at, yeah. Honestly, though, no, it's, you're right. I, it's listen, what are you gonna do? Patreon, I cut a lot of the interview out because here's the thing I don't want to shortchange him for giving us that yep. time, exactly. Is, yeah, Chris and I had talked about it a little bit through text, but like he, like Chris is saying, he's like, I don't want to cut out. Yeah, because like you don't want to be that guy, and like he's like, I just spent two hours with you. It was four minutes of your video, yeah, and you didn't show and showcase any of my products realistically, except maybe one. You know what I mean? And I, a lot of the stuff that he said, I thought was, I mean, pretty valuable. It was like, interesting. It, I mean, it was oh yeah, really to hear about um like everything, like just that he was super passionate about everything. Like he spoke, mm -hmm. um, just as charged and a smart uh, about guy. everything. And yeah. a smart guy. Yeah, he was. Not a dummy. <clears throat> He's not. Um, like, it sounds like they have a good business plan. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they're being successful so far. I mean, it sounds like they're kind of like moving in the right direction. At some point, they want to build this dream distillery that they're working towards. Like, yeah. They, um, they have a good direction. So I'll say we're drinking your uh, Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve Riverside Liquors. Um, honey Roasted Peanuts. Yeah. It's got, uh, it's got some good nuttiness to her. Um. So yeah, this one cool. I was told is a 14 year okay. from uh, from the owner. So, but I don't get as much age as my other 14 year I have. So I'm not I'm not convinced it's 14. Just just based on what I what I get from it. It's not. It's definitely not all age. No. Like it's not like the most oaky thing I've ever had. There's some good proof on it though. Oh yeah. 120s. That's I always forget that. Yep. I always forget. Welcome that. back to bourbon. So yeah. uh, that being said. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just went from what ninety four ninety something. I think that's what these are at. Yeah, but um, a ninety four. That's I listen. That's super nutty. That's almost. I would put that pretty damn close to something like Booker's. It's got. Uh, yeah, I think it's got a little bit more profile. spice. 
Booker's is pretty spicy, though. <laughs> Not at all. The next video, actually, new Thursday video, Sean chugging half a bottle <laughs> of Booker's. Yeah. Um, I, I can't imagine looking at two hours of Raw because I just did our it's a lot. Booker's 30th, and it was like 25, 25 minutes. Man. And it was like, well, I got to cut basically half this out. That's a lot. There's a there's mm -hmm. a lot of good Patreon content for that one. Well, so that's what I was gonna say is what basically what I'm doing is parts of the interview that I cut out were they weren't redundant, um, but it were part it was it was parts of like their distillery that you could see some of that stuff you could see at other distilleries or in other tours, um, and so some of that I cut out, and then some parts that I cut out it was just like, listen, I I'd rather showcase their products for yeah, a little bit right. longer than I would showcase his philosophy for just a little bit longer. Yeah, right. his, his philosophy is in the video, hundred yeah. mm -hmm. percent. There's, there's a good five minutes of him talking about mayor or uh, I'm sorry, Valentine's, um, you know, philosophy and stuff. But um, the content that I cut, not all the content that I cut, but a lot of the interview that I cut is going to go to Patreon content. So mm -hmm. I, anybody on Patreon, our Patreon can see that content. If you want more of the interview, that's kind of where it'll be. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it's not even to push you guys over there. It's just because it's like, I want it to live somewhere Yeah. because I don't mm -hmm. want him to feel cheated. Um, and I want his, that I want like that whole thing to be out there. I just want, we also want a bunch of people to watch it. Right. Yeah. So it's not everyone. Not everybody wants to uh, hear the whole interview. That. They just want to see mm -hmm. his drinking whiskey. Sure. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. My so wife was talking to me about it after we left actually. And she's like, you know what you could do is you could film or you could just make an individual like review of you guys all together just for each spirit he gave you because each one was like what five minutes of us Dude, at least, five yeah. minutes, drinking and talking about it you know when we got to whiskey it was even longer yeah oh yeah for sure for yeah. sure when we got to i think we got to the red label and then uh he put them in glens and we started walking around yeah. with the red label yeah. Oh, yeah. touring parts of the distillery you know what i mean so that was cool that was awesome dude it was like they're still is awesome it was like let's chat a little bit we chat a little bit Super cool, easy to talk to guy. There was nothing was weird. That nothing, was the other thing. Nothing felt forced. I was telling way. Ricky the other day, yeah. I was like, we got out, we met Chris and his wife, and it was never awkward the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that was weird. Like how not awkward it was. I just don't make it weird, Dan. No, but I'm saying like, we've met, I've definitely met people where we meet and then it's like, all right, man. So now, you We're know what I mean? Yeah. About, yeah. And it was like, yeah. then the whole rest of the day, it was just like, ah, we've known each other for a really long time already, basically. We sang Okie. Oh uh, yeah, and I've literally never done that before. Oh my god, I've done it one time in my entire life ever. Yeah, you're a, you sang, yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, here's yeah, a little but... behind the scenes for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, too much. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the old karaoke. So there's a trailer for part two at the end of part one. Oh god, oh, that's great. I can't wait to see that. Us walking up to the stage. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. And then we are kicking over the monitor, <laughs> oh, walking yeah. up to the thing. Oh, yeah. Going to China shop. Oh, Needless yeah. to say, that was a that was something. It was fun though. It was a lot of fun. That was fun. If your video is more than forty five minutes, it probably won't watch. Just keeping it real. Listen, James. That's why. That's why yeah. a lot of people won't like our average watch time on our reviews is like six to eight minutes. Seven right? minutes, 49 seconds. Right now it's 749 I just looked at it on today. average. Yeah. <laughs> so our, I would imagine that our vlog videos are probably a little bit longer if you look yeah. just at those ones. Um, none of those are 45 minutes. Most no. of those are 15 to 20. It's just because we have yeah. so much content. Yeah. So and this one, well, the part one is 25 minutes. It's done. I just got to add a little bit of background music and some nonsense. That's done, and that's 25 minutes. Part two will probably be, I bet, 15 to 20 somewhere. So mm -hmm. neither of them are 45. Um, realistically, part two will probably be more drinking, drunkenness, mm -hmm. entertainment. Uh, part one is more distillery, <laughs> really cool Valentine tour, stuff like that. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But there was plenty of both to go around. So. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't feel like we shorted out on any no. of that. No. Uh, we really covered basically everything from start to finish on that one. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph Browser says, destroyed distilleries. The secret is our Flint water. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know how everybody says, like, the secret is yeah. the Kentucky limestone yeah. bullshit, blah, 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 blah. Joseph, uh, that's where the color comes from. When, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's that's actually, lead. This is actually new make, if you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this spent five minutes in a barrel. What's up, DJ Beacon? Thanks for joining, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's super funny. That's really good. 
Hint of lead on the palate. Delicious. Mm -hmm. That's probably that young note is just the, the yeah, lead. Probably. Let's see. Or that's what covers up the young notes. Oh, lead man. poisoning. All right. What are you drinking right now, Chris? The red still? Um, I went to the Elijah Craig. I had to make sure I kept up with you guys. So Okay. You don't have to do that. Sean's an alcoholic, so. And I'm already home. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have to crawl upstairs. I have to drive home tonight, yeah. <laughs> I only got to make it like 50 feet. If I don't, I'm, I mean, the stairs are at least carpeted, so. <laughs> Fall on your face, it'll at least be soft for you. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I figured the cat would make an appearance by now. I'm surprised it hasn't. Gabby must be holding her hostage. Cat makes makes an appearance in the uh, video Thursday. Spoiler alert. Which cat? <laughs> your cat. The little, the little brown one. Oh, pep cat. So what is, what is your guys' uh, favorite type of store pick, would you say, if you had to pick one? I know you kind one of talked single, about it a little bit last week, but yeah, one single store pick rest of my life. I think it mine. Oh man! Here's the unfortunate part: I haven't had enough Eagle Rare store picks to just say Eagle Rare. Mm -hmm. I, I was kind of actually thinking about that just because of what we had at the Silver Dollar. Yeah, those were all amazing. Both were really good. Um, there was one Elmer T. Lee store pick ever. I I'll take the uh, the Pappy Twenty Three store pick yeah. that they did like probably, one of. Probably realistically, yeah. um, I'd probably lean towards Buffalo Trace. I would probably lean on Russell's. Mm -hmm. I had, yeah, Russell's seems to like have some more variation on it. Russell, yeah. that see, that's almost one of the reasons I might not lean on Russell's yeah. because there's so like I had one that I was like, that's really not good. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've never had a Buffalo Trace when I said it wasn't good. Yeah, Buffalo Trace, you're still getting Buffalo Trace, basically. So, I mean, right. um, the consistency is very high in those. So. Maybe like an – I don't – it's it's hard, like kind of hard to say MGP store picks, I feel like. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, would, I would rule out Elijah that, Craig. That's probably the actual winner is MGP store picks. They're 100 bucks. I mean, still. they're not cheap, but – um, How many of those have you been like, oh, that's bad? Yeah, not one yet. We had a flight of four of them. We're like, yeah. oh, this is tough. They're all really good. <laughs> what about you? What's what's your uh, – I would so for me, I guess I'd probably lean on Russell's or MGP. Yeah. It's going to be – it'd be Russell's for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just – like I did a um, I did a sample night with Jason from the Mash and Drum and Dan Trout, the Dan Trout. Mm -hmm. and oh, he yeah. Sent us, he sent us samples of um, – a Russell store pick that was like an Eddie secret stash bottle. Okay. And it was like ridiculous. I mean, it was like, like as good as a George T stag. Like that's how good it was. I it tasted that. nothing like a Russell's I've ever had before. It was so good. Is, do you know if it was from Camp Nelson? I'm not sure. Okay. Cause those are supposed to be like, that. Sure. Camp the, Nelson the really is, good ones. They're supposed to have like a, uh, basically like old dusty wild, the old, the old stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here I'll help you, you out. Different? Yeah. Ever. Um, I actually think that this is significantly worse than the one we had there. Oh, I just wanted to do them uh, next to each other is what I was thinking. Um, I believe it was Chris. I read him say something about if they were still doing any Woodward. So they've re we we mentioned it, and they re Jolene. they rebranded uh Woodward to Pingree, so they're done. Like the yeah. Woodward brand is dead. Um, because in the video he talks about some like uh, copyright stuff, I think. Oh, I don't know. I might have cut or, that out. Yeah, uh, I don't remember. But. There was a copyright issue, is why they just moved oh, to yeah, right. Woodward. Yep. And then that's why I got relabeled as uh, Liberator and Pingree. Which realistically, way cooler, better. Oh my god! So when I think of Woodward, I think of like idiots, cars, yeah, stupid people, mm -hmm. like. You. people racing cars on i don't know i have a weird thing because because of when we were so into cars everybody went to woodward you know yeah. I, that's why i think but oh my god right, what do we got here that that black label smells better than i remember oh my god knob creek or russell store picks i go i would go uh russell's every day of the week i'd probably over go knob. every knob creek ever. i might go knob over that russell's one. yeah that's weird dude um because I don't know. There are some really, really good Knob Creek store picks I've had. That's a tough question. I, mean, I feel like I've I'm I, just from memory, I feel like I've had more like um like just a better all sample of Knob Creek store picks than really? I've had of Russell's. I've had See, I mean we, we we probably always lean towards the higher age knobs, you yeah. know. I would think. Like the fourteens or thirteen fourteens. 
Yeah, that's really interesting. I would go. I would wouldn't even consider Mount Creek. <laughs> and the interesting part is those two proof wise pretty close, ten proof apart. Mm-hmm. Price wise, probably mm-hmm. 10, 10 to fifteen apart. Yeah. Um, so and I would Russell's say, like, go ahead. I was just gonna say Russell's on average is usually about nine years aged. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's I mean good. that's the I mean which is the standard for a Knob Creek one hundred and twenty, you know. But yeah. if they if it's a, a single barrel select, it could be you know higher. It's funny to think that like when somebody says like this Knob Creek store pick is fourteen years, it's not even a surprise anymore. No. No. And the number of like it's normal. twelve plus like twelve to fifteen. If you tell me it's ten or eleven, yeah. I'd be more surprised than if somebody told me one was fifteen. I bet. You know when what I mean? Come, <clears throat> excuse me. When they come back, you'll 12. start to see yeah like. 12. Like ten to twelve starting to be their average because they just were dumping out like twelve to fifteens left and right. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, that Jolene is good. Four roses picks. I didn't even think about that. That's interesting. Oh, oh. you know what? <laughs> yeah, one of the best whiskeys I've ever had was a four roses pick. Yeah, it was also the only four roses pick I actually really liked. Uh, That's a really high high, and I've had some yeah. like I would say the low is <laughs> like don't That's good whiskey. What it was. No, I have no idea. I don't remember recipes though ever. Yeah. I asked you fourteen times a day which one yeah. you want. So. Oh yes, oh. <sighs> a number. Well, nine, Chris, uh, I think he's probably in the chat. He, him, and his dad have all ten That's now. What, I, Chris is in the mm-hmm. chat. Yeah, which is super cool. I don't know. Yeah, I, at some point we're having a whiskey night. If you haven't watched the last video, we had a whiskey night. Mm-hmm. Shot a video of um, one of the whiskey nights uh, is going to be with them at their cabin yeah with all those he, they said that they're opening those 10 10 recipes so it'll be it's really really awesome. crazy i might like we might have i think chris or brandon one of them mentioned that i could we could film it yeah we have to yeah mm-hmm. 10 recipes yeah i didn't even ever think i'd have all 10. i'm gonna sleep in my car <laughs> it's up at a cabin i'm gonna sleep in the woods with a bear probably my pants down and some honey if you know what i mean oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna be uh, winnie the pooh <laughs> Dippy McDip asked if um, any of you guys have had Coppercraft out of Holland. I think we talked about that a little bit, didn't we? Uh, Dan. <laughs> nah, never had it. So, <laughs> so I had their old, old bottle of it. Oh, that is an old one, yeah. I don't even have this bottle anymore. No. That's a, a the new bottle's better anyway. Yeah, I, I always forget it's back there. It doesn't get drank a lot. Um, I think I was mine. a bigger fan of their gin than I was their bourbon. Mm-hmm. It made good gin. Yeah, I personally I not had any of their stuff. Um, but I mean, like my one of my local stores had a Coppercraft store pick. Mm-hmm. They did out of there, and I can't remember what the age was on it or anything. But it, like a lot of people were raving about that on, you know, on oh, Facebook and things. So. Really? Um, That's interesting. So they do yeah. the black label and the white label. Okay. And the black label is yes MGP stuff. And yeah, that, it, that yes. I think is mixed with theirs. Or, nope. So no, the black one, label is simply MGP, mm-hmm. and the white label is MGP plus theirs. So the black label is blended, but it's all blended MGP. Yeah, Sean and I is. just had an argument about this. Not an argument, but like we were on different sides because Sean thought what you were thinking, like the black yeah. label is some of theirs. No, nope. the yeah, one we right. have, the, the is, white one is them mixed together. They have an off-white label. They have a white. I. There are not many things that bother me more than super poor, confusing branding in this world. <laughs> Barrel bourbon or barrel whiskey or however, yeah, whatever. Yeah. They have one of the most confusing lines of whiskey I've ever seen in my life. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. The, uh, what is it? The um, Coppercraft has a black label, a white label, and an off-white label. Yeah. The black label is MGP. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, the black label is good. I'm sure it is. It's, you know, it's MGP. Yeah. yeah. Good things. Just mix them together, probably turn out, right? I mean, MGP. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, not all of this, two of those. Okay. Are- MGP. Neither is the right. So anyway, oh, oh it is some right or some MGP. I'm sorry. Nope, you're pretty much right. It's I'm there's sure and it's there's an MGP. Yeah. So anyways, um, mixed. the white label I believe is their single barrel that's theirs or something. Okay. And then the off white is the one we have, I think, which is theirs and MGP. The worst one. Theirs and <laughs> their, for them blending that with older whiskey, unless maybe the MGP was young. Yeah. That whiskey is so grain forward, it's insane. Mm. Insane. If you like Green Ford whiskey, you'll really enjoy it. Who the f- likes that? Somebody yeah. likes corn. So, <laughs> you know, there's like a store pick of mellow corn. 
Uh uh Yeah, I swear to God. How much is it going for? $500 in the It secondary? literally has like a uh, gold wax over their screw top. <laughs> oh my god! Metal corn. Well, I was like, this isn't real. Uh-uh, somebody made this that. Yeah, that's real. fake. That's fake news. Um, but it had like a sticker. I was like, Dude, I don't know if someone spent <laughs> a lot of time from this troll. That's really good though. A lot of people actually talk really good stuff about that too. I have the metal corn bottled in bond, but I still haven't opened it at all. I, I, it's actually corn whiskey, right? Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I. I mean, I Crazy think if you damage. came to it with knowing right what it is, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, people! I just saw McKenna ten. Oh my god! Triggered. <laughs> oh, okay. Is the season for McKenna ten though? Dude, tis the last two years for McKenna ten. I. So Chris says. Chris, uh, Chris is our friend that was at the whiskey night. And then Chris, different Chris, is Mr. Bourbon saying Chris. <laughs> um, the Chris who owns all 10 Four Roses yep, recipes go. was the actual word I was looking for. Same thing, though. Um, he said, you're invited, Chris. It's I don't Ooh, know. At some point, I'll message you on like Instagram. Oh, yeah. I'll give you like a good heads up so you have some time. He but. won't. He literally plans his life like six <laughs> hours before. I'm the only one that's happening tonight. If you can come out tonight, oh, he's, he's yeah. All right, Chris, we're coming to your cabin. I just need the address. Go ahead and post that right in the YouTube yeah. chat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you so much for the offer, though. That would I would love to do that. Yeah, that'd be incredible. Yeah, I got. It. It's funny because I was like, at some point. I was going to tell Bourbon Saint Chris, like, hey, amazing. we're going to do this a year like, or a month out. This yeah. is when we're going to do it. You should come over or come wherever we're doing yeah. it. Mm-hmm. But that would be a really good one. That would be a, an intriguing one to come to. Yeah. How many bottles would you guys have if you weren't YouTubers? So here's the problem. Just as I'm impulsive know. whether I'm on YouTube or not. So I think before we started at your house, we had like maybe 50. 40, 50. Okay. And only like eight, I would say, were even mine. So like DM still had a oh, large maybe, yeah. collection there. I maybe had like I had most of the oh okay. I probably had like twenty five at home. Okay. So I mean less than a hundred together, where mm-hmm. now we have I would say way less than a hundred. At least three times that. Um, so here's the thing. It's like we, we would still be buying the bottles, but now that we have the channel, it just gives it it justifies it in our head. It's like, oh, we can get this because it's for the channel. Like, yeah, I got to review it for the others. Yep. Honey, it's for the plan. people. It's for the people. No. It yeah, it's, just... Listen, we don't buy whiskey because we want to. Yeah. No. Guys, no, absolutely not. We you buy guys. whiskey for you. Actually, it's a sacrifice for us. You know the burden. That was for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's, that's a really good point. Um, I don't know. So there are definitely releases I would have skipped. If we weren't mm-hmm. going to, if the idea wasn't, this yeah. is hot right now, this would get us some subs right now. Let's buy this <laughs> bottle right now. Honestly, there are some of those. Yeah. there. I, I'm pretty sure we bought bottles we know we're just not going to like. We, we 1,000% have done that. Mm-hmm. We bought at least, I'd say, six of the barrel-proof whiskeys we have to finish off our bracket of it. Yeah. That we didn't we we didn't want. We needed more barrel proof whiskeys. So Yeah, but I think I think that's (laughs) fuck you, DJ. DJ (laughs) Michael said great to see a non white background so we could see Sean. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, he comes in so hot all the time. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that wall is white, but that one is painted. We still owe you sample, man. For the that one that is (laughs) you coming through hot in comments, dude. And I enjoy it a lot. So (laughs) but there is a light that is just right above us dude so jeffrey said bourbon got to catch them all if there was ever such thing as an adult pokemon game which i still play <laughs> it's whiskey a yeah. thousand percent of the time every 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 little while they come out with the next gen right there's a next gen there's a whole new battle bunch of pokemon you gotta catch. Hot, hot. Yep. and i have a fear of missing out so mm-hmm. big time gosh man hey I don't know if Dippy McDip was in here earlier when you said it, Chris, but Dippy, thanks for uh, joining our Patreon, man. That's you're, awesome. You're boss. Yeah, me, me, me too. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Yeah, means a lot, man. Dan will have to edit the outro. Mm-hmm. I had to anyways because um, you, definitely not me, uh, spelled one of them wrong. I don't have <laughs> the, the, the Adobe file for the outro. You do. Uh, and you know what the best part is? Guess whose is wrong? You get one guess. It, it should be 
if it's this obvious, you should know who it is. It's the person we talk to the most and that, that supports us on Patreon. Is it either Chris? Sean Offerman? Okay, I was gonna say it's either Chris. <laughs> you or Sean. spelled it wrong the other day. I had for the it. same reason. There are two ends. Oh sh- yeah, man. Clean up your last name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know that. This is an old world. I'm sorry, Sean. Yeah, we um, you just gave us Booker's 30th to shoot with. Oh, good. I do have the Adobe save for that video. I can I can re-upload that real quick. Ah, I don't have a shitty computer. You already watched it. it. Doesn't matter really anymore. Fast and yeah, but you got to take it down to re-upload it. That's fine. I've got 50 up. I know, but. So, like, from the YouTube aspect, you lose anything you, you got from it. You I'll just re-upload it. Okay. You guys can watch that again next Monday. Don't do that. The yeah. only change will be his name spelled right. It's going to be such uh, an easy week to edit. How much would you drink if you weren't YouTubers? Um, Too much? Is that I still an answer? I would probably <laughs> drink... Hmm. How often? So, we shoot, know, we, we shoot once a week. Now we shoot know. once a week. We live stream once. Well, we've live streamed once a week once for week. three weeks in a row. Yeah. So. Spoiler alert. We're trying to push that to be a more regular thing. What? Live streaming. It's been very regular. Yeah. This is the third Tuesday. Good for us. We can't be more regular. <laughs> it is regular. We're trying to keep it regular. It's for accidentally sure. regular. <laughs> really, um, at some point, I, I won't be here in a few Tuesdays, <clears> so we won't be able to. Yeah. But, um, I mean, we always... Just, I mean, we had bottles at the the garage, which we both lifted at. Mm-hmm. So it was like, you know, we'd lift and have a drink here and there. Because why not? We started doing someday. That'll be a Patreon video, dude. Which one? The one <laughs> oh, I sent the one? to you the other day. I don't know if it's good, bad. I'm sure it's terrible. You want to see the roughest rough ever? We shot it on a cell phone with <laughs> holding a cell phone with the flashlight on in front of us or setting it on something. And it was Sean and I at my old bar at my old house, my previous house. And I think I don't even know what we were trying to do, but I we were sitting there drinking and I said, I don't know if you'll remember this part. I said, We were gonna do this anyways. Why wouldn't we film it and put it on YouTube? And you were like, These are your words, and I'll this is I swear to God, this is very close to a quote. It's not exact, but it's very close. And you said, because I'm not gonna be that fucking guy who goes, Mmm. peaches (laughs) (laughs) and it was funny because it was before we were really into it yeah and the best part about it was you said that and i was like and i I, my rebuttal was we don't have to be those guys we can fuck around and give each other shit because that's what we were doing without filming it yeah and we could drink whiskey (laughs) and then we started making videos and like realized it was fun and stuff and then it like it took off as much as it has taken mm, off right now, peaches. right? And then, yeah. And now Sean says peaches and shit when he smells whiskey. So. <laughs> Someday that. Do you want to know how long that video is? Probably like in a half. It's an about forty-five minutes. Yeah. Someday I will chop that up, and I will release it somewhere. So, I don't know where. Someday it'll be so a long you guys time. From think now. we have a structure now? It's not good. It's not good. We really didn't have. Do a you structure have a then. structure? I kind of free ball it. You I know. know I, mean? I know you do. Yeah. So to answer the question, then, how much do you guys drink outside of the filming? Um, I usually don't drink a lot of whiskey outside of filming. Mm-hmm. Um, like I had, like if I do, I'll have maybe like just maybe half an ounce of something. Mm-hmm. Right, like all right, that's not bad. Um, but I usually drink just shitty beer for the yeah. most part if I drink something. I almost only drink whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like, I used to, we were, I just get burnt out on it. We were really into beer, um, four, three or four years ago, probably. Yeah. Whenever we really into beer. beer yeah. yeah. And, um, I drank like craft, all the craft beer and stuff yeah. then. Now there's only two beers I even look for is 120 minute and KBS, which are both pretty easy to find. Yeah. Now, now they're easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say I probably drink, um, I probably have whiskey five, four to five, I would say five days a week. Mm-hmm. Most nights are probably around an ounce to two ounces. Yeah. And I would say I'm generally, so, and I almost, most of the time I drink out of a bulb or a Glen yeah. and generally know how much is in the, like, like that much of a Glen is like an ounce. Yeah. Roughly. Right. So and usually when I drink things, it's not like literally, I think last night I, I had a uh, very old Barton bottle and bond. Mm-hmm. It was like I just could go for a whiskey. That's what I had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um, 
like my frequency is high, but my volume is low. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's always whiskey. And I think the reason was I would have beers from time to time. And then I made a weight loss bet with some guys and I ended up doing keto, which is just basically like really low carb. And I was like, shit, no more beer. Not drinking Mick all Can't have beer. Yeah, I'm not drinking. Yeah, okay. So then I'm like, it's well, water. so I look up bourbon. I'm like, there's no carbs in it. It's like 100 calories roughly per ounce. So then I was like, okay, I can have, you know, this much. It was really, really easy to calculate comparably. Or it was easy to fit in, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and But so you get burnt out on it. But the interesting thing is, like, there are nights where I'm just like, I don't, like, every time I drink whiskey, I don't sit down and break it down. Mm-hmm. That's not. No. I was drinking that Barton because it's like yeah. I'm not looking for anything complex. I'm just looking to drink some. Yeah, I'm just drinking this some whiskey. We're watching TV. Um, so I grabbed my my Lord's Rocks glass mm-hmm. and threw a splash in there. Probably not even an ounce. You know what it fits for me? I, I told somebody this the other day. It fits um like sweets for me. Um, because I can go grab a whiskey that sweet, I, and then it will fit into like a dessert type I situation. Probably drank more whiskey this week than normal because I have that rare breed oh yeah I've really been mm. sweet like on it. that yeah, yeah. Uh, it definitely goes in waves yeah that's fair how often do you drink chris <laughs> i used to, i'd say i probably used to drink more before i started the channel because now really? I, I try only to drink really when i'm doing filming but oh, okay. i batch film usually too so do what i batch film oh, oh. yeah so do we yeah so yeah. that that's the thing at least one night a week we probably drink five six ounces of whiskey or something like that yeah. so. right <clears throat> that's why you'll you'll see one video that we're in the same clothes for a, a while there'll be a week but, apart um, it's hard to recognize at this yeah point. but we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll start shooting and then like in the last video it's so cold out in the garage you like see our our breath and stuff we're like you're in wearing a coat for yeah. real like yeah um, i have worn a coat for several videos yeah it was really rough when we were shooting our um uh, wars. nope uh Oh shit! Advent calendar. Oh yeah. Sean and I decided to do an advent calendar, and so um, we're trying to do like a <sighs> week at a time. We're trying to do five, <laughs> at least five at a time, and they're all of them are blind. Yeah. You yeah. want to burn yourself out? You do twenty four yeah. days blind in a row. My oh yeah. Gosh, man, you it you literally get mentally exhausted from trying to pick it apart. Mm-hmm. Your yeah. palate's blown out. Your your like nose is blown out. Mm-hmm. Like. And on top of all of that, like I got tired of editing. Sean wasn't editing at that point. I was, not. I was exhausted. I'm like, no. dude, I got to fucking stop. I think that's what actually kicked me into I'm like, all right. I had said before, like, all right, I'll start getting into it, like to help you out. And then like he did all that. And I was like, all right, I got to do more editing. 25 days in a row was like, we, like we finally, we, that we basically in Thankfully, that. Thankfully they were quick though. They were. I mean, yeah. they were all five to, well, they were all like seven, eight minute videos. Yeah. But, like, basically what it turned into was, like, okay, so this is, like, the maximum workload. Like, I'm spending, a, like, a real part-time amount. job. Yeah. Time oh, yeah. yeah. So, so now, like, we can split it to where I'm doing all the breaking the seals. All like the Mondays. Mondays yeah. And he does all the Thursdays. Works then, out. It's way yeah. easier. Oh, no, mm-hmm. way easier. Way easier for me. You only have a one-day one, one day deadline mm-hmm. instead of a two. Yeah. Yeah, and before I would try to mm-hmm. edit the Monday and the Thursday at the same time. Yeah, on the same day, you get just get them both done. Now it's like, well, now and like you get more efficient editing over time. Yeah, you and really so get to like, learn those hotkeys. Really, dude, it really took. Quickly. I mean, like it used to take me like, I remember it taking four or five hours to edit a video, that's a me, normal video. That's before you were doing like uh, Premiere and stuff, though. Yeah, I re- the first video I did, the first whiskey where I did in Premiere, took me four hours. I remember texting you and telling you that. And um, but. Now, like I picked it up super quick. I tell myself how to do all this, and then I tell Sean how to do all of it, and then he's like, "Dude, just just not even fucking hard, bro." (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he gave me probably like eighty five percent of the groundwork. We just sat down and like edited a video, and and then so like he gave me all the groundwork, and then like little things you just YouTube it. You're like, Mm -hmm. "How do I do this?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my, my first couple, same thing. My first couple of videos were like literally four or five hours. And I was so worried about like the quality and everything. And now I watch them. I'm like, what in the hell was I doing? Like, yep. <laughs> you look back at them and you're like, why did I spend so much time on that? Yep. So, so the rhetoric video still, that it, makes me laugh. It gets, yeah, that was, that was like our first video. Completely basically. unstructured. There's no structure. It was literally our first the video. Worst quality ever. No lighting. I, that was shot on your 
old old camera that Shout did like old Nikon. Did like two minutes at a time, basically. Yep, ten minutes at a time. <laughs> um, would film ten minutes at a time. Um, yeah, that one. That video was rough, and that's still somehow like one of our highest watched videos. I don't know why. It's not anymore. It oh, held on God. for a long time. There's just there's no quality in that. It at held all. on for a long time. The mm -hmm. I think what ended up like I go in these phases in which I'll edit a video, and then I'll be like, why am I taking so much time? to edit a video, especially before. Mm -hmm. It's like, why am I taking this long to edit a video? A hundred people are going to see. Oh, there will be a hundred views in this video. And, and this took me three hours. You care a and, little bit less. And I'm caring, like, oh, yeah. like I'm caring about this millisecond of a cut that I made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I started really like, so I go, I get in like that mental mode. And then what, picture. then what happens? Oh, okay. Then what happens is like, I like, Somebody realistically, this is what happens. Somebody leaves a cool comment and is like, "Hey, love watching the channel. You guys are great, or you guys are one of my favorites, or I don't watch a lot of whiskey channels, but we, you know, I watch yours." Like mm -hmm. any any of those comments is like. Then after I edited it, I read that comment. I'm like, that was why I forgot. That mm -hmm. was why. Mm -hmm. The reason that I cared was because, uh, you know, pe the people, even if it's a hundred people watching it, those people enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that made it more fun. So. Yeah, for sure. No, absolutely. That's why we do it. So, yeah, man. That's why that's why we're doing live streams now, man. It's mm -hmm. just so much fun to like communicate with everybody and like you know, interact with everybody, but I know that's the one bad thing about doing collabs. Like every time I've done a collab, it's we I'm so bad about reading chat. It's hard, man. It is. Not easy. Much easier when it's just you guys doing it, but Yeah, it's fucking hard, dude. <laughs> This is why our last live stream was three hours is because we like read chat. We get like, we rant, we read chat, we rant. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What do we got here? Um, yeah. So I need, did you email, are you going to, have you figured out a way of getting, uh, the seven year black label yet? No, I mean, that's his problem is he said he has almost nobody in, um, like the West side over here. Okay. Who gets his stuff? So it, that's rough for me. I he did say um, one place. Um, I'm not gonna say it on here. But, yeah, sure. But um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably reach out to them because I got a couple. There's a couple local places that I, I might have been in on. So, but okay. I want all that black label. Um, it was so unreal. I emailed him, and I know that our local store isn't getting any. Mm -hmm. oh, this this is terrifying. It's your laptop, not mine. The battery really <laughs> has to work, so um I emailed him and I, I was like, Hey man, you know, thanks. Uh thanks for spending time with us, blah blah blah. And I was like, you know, I didn't want to forget. So uh oh, it's purring. Yeah, she's very happy. But I was like, I didn't want to forget about it. So, you know, I just want to make sure we could get a bottle up here. Yeah. And I gave him the name of the store and he goes, Let me check my list. And he comes back, he's like, They are actually aren't in the top one hundred, so they wouldn't have gotten any. Yeah. And he's like, well, I can basically spare a, I, he said a, cause I asked him for one a bottle. Yeah. We, he said, I can spare a bottle. He goes, wow. make sure they hold it for you though. Because if they don't hold it for you, he's like, like at that point, after he ships, he doesn't have any control. Which right. Crazy. Oh, right. Right. Angry. I told Sean from Offerman's, I'm like, we'll just open it in the store. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. I get yeah. We're getting the bottle to open it. Yeah. We're getting the bottle to drink. I'm, I'm asking him for it so we can open it and drink. It was really yeah. good. That so, was a drinker. But mm -hmm. yeah. If anybody, if anybody goes to Midland Corkinale, the day we get our <laughs> seven-year-old uh, Mayor Pingree, will open it and you can have some. So. I have no idea what day that'll be. He said three, probably three weeks before they bottle it. You going shit more twelve, eh? Let's talk about this, dude. You watch Game of Thrones? We're gonna switch to uh, a little bit of Scott. Here. We were like recapping Dang. Valentine. Uh, the thing is, is I want to recap it, but I don't want to give away too much. Hey, yeah, because some people might be this time of year. Yeah, man. Um, but man, the season was great. <laughs> dude, there's an obstruction in your camera. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, there's an obstruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a demon animal. That's the the cat that my I didn't want, and I love the most now. You crazy cat lady, dude. Oh, I am. My uh, <laughs> I didn't want the cat, and my girlfriend wanted a new cat, and um, we were at we were tailgating in a Michigan game. She ended up getting me drunk. As one does at a tailgate, <laughs> she's like, "Look at this cat I found." I was like, "That's a cool colored cat," and um, she's like, "Oh, it's fifty bucks." I was like, "For no. a cat? No, yeah." No. I said, she's like, twenty bucks." Well, cats are free. Thought they'd say no. They ended up saying yes, and we got a cat. 
There you go. Um, which that cat loves me. I don't just you know, just a thing. So you won't okay. be able to see this. You know how he said it sits there for 55 all day? What the fuck? There it is. Not and it's lying. a full rack of Eagle right Rare next, next to it? Right next to Small Bash. Right next, there's Eagle Rare all over up here. I can find Eagle Rare. I know where it's at. I do know where the store that has a couple. But... Meyer. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Walmart. Yeah. Ball and... Walmart had six bottles of it. I went there yesterday. I didn't know Walmart sold liquor. Yeah. Not a lot, but they have Eagle Rare. <laughs> they sold beer. No. Um, needless to say... What I was gonna say was, um, somebody asked if we've had Jim Beam Distillery Cut, and we have. Yeah, we. Um, Sean had it. I can't remember if he tasted it or not. We've never had a bottle of it, but Chris Reggie, one of the OG junkies, um, who <laughs> yeah. sent us, uh, who's already sent us two or three bottles already. Yep. He has a bottle for us that he's shipping up here at some point. So oh, I need to tell him I don't need Red Spot anymore. Oh yeah. We'll do uh we'll do a review of that when he ships that bottle up here for us. So yeah. So Tippins Market um in Ann Arbor got they just posted on Facebook they had like three bottles of red spot. They posted a picture of three. Yeah, Dan I called me and said they had three. Dan really? by tagged me on the page. It was like, Oh god, we've got a friend that lives down there. So it's like called them instantly and was like, Hey, do you guys have red spot? I said yes. I said, Cool, I'm coming to get one. I said, Okay. And then I messed my friend. He goes, yeah, sometimes they'll let you just pay over the phone to make sure you get it. I was like, mm-hmm. what? Called them back, said, hey, I'll, can I pay over the phone? They're like, yes. I was like, done. Set that aside. I am so excited for that. I love green. Did you get it? Yeah. Where is it? In Ann Arbor. Bring it? No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Why? You forgot it? Because we were already on the exit turning off of. Uh, How are you going to do this? Yeah. I was actually a little excited. <laughs> yeah. After having the Red Breast 21, I'm kind of like, there's not, there's actually good Irish whiskey. Excuse That's me. <laughs> oh, the you. Will you buy the, we got to talk about one Amazing. that's at Opperman's that you're, you, I need you to buy. I do want to try that. That is the um, finished green spot. Nope. Different one. Yeah. No, there's a different one. What? You might not know about it. It's uh, in, Chateau, blah, 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 blah. That was the one that um, Daniel on the Whiskey Vault tried and literally picked up the bottle and held like this so Rex couldn't drink anymore. Hmm. He was like, this is the best Irish whiskey I've ever had. Wow. Oh, my dude. That? Um, I think I'm about to break out this peerless rye, honestly. Oh, my God. Wait. What do we got that shit, John? Let's I, drink something bad with him. Uh, I feel like I, I have to. I got bird dog ten year. No, I got basil gaden. <laughs> What's in that one? Is there anything bad over there? Mm-hmm. Bushmills. What's behind this Elijah Craig? That's HK? actually all real good. That's another Elijah Craig age stated. Oh, okay. What's behind basil? Anything? Uh, uh, Elijah. Perfect phone. Oh, whew, thought your phone was going down. Uh. Oh, Coppercraft is really good. You know what? We'll try Coppercraft. We kind of. Yeah, we're just talking about that. We'll do yeah, that. We'll go Michigan. Um, on somebody it. said, "Did you have you had ER seventeen? We have not. Listen, oh my God, that baby's got some funk to her. Dude, ER seven, <laughs> ER seventeen was uh was my unicorn from the BTAC line for twenty eighteen. Yeah, didn't see one, didn't get one. Unfortunately, they proved it up to one. Not unfortunately, what, what was it? Fortunately, one on one, one on one. Oh yeah, because it's a throwback to like the seventies, and um. That took the the price that was already astronomical, and then just bumped it up a little oh, bit. Oh, on more. secondary, yeah. yeah. So, well, um, we didn't even see one in person. No, which is unfortunate. Dan, what's up, man? This literally <laughs> smells like horse shit. Told like you, bro. Horse horse shit. Horse shit. bro. Listen, I would not mislead you. You're not kid. Like you, you completely yeah. nailed that. Like that is literally what it smells like. You could have just grabbed the glen. Uh, I would <laughs> never ever mislead you like that, dude. Like that is it literally smells like Oh, this has some can uh, you see the, the lines through it. Uh that's the two year peerless non store pick. Can you see the, the sediment. Oh now I do. Yeah. That's yeah. Fine. Right here, I'll start it up for you. I want a very small amount, please. Because I I'm gonna pour whatever's out that I don't want. So well. perfect, dude. You nailed it. You're basically a <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I poured too much. No whiskey is worth seventeen. Oh my god! <laughs> the seventeen was eighteen. Okay, 
Are you in New York? Is that why? My wife was in New York not that long ago. Holy that, shit. My, she sent me pictures and pictures of cases of uh, oh. B-Tax, Pappies, and they were all, you know, two grand. I don't know. They were all way over secondary. So, unfortunately, uh, we, Pat, oh. we, me and Gabby went on like a little miniature vacation <laughs> uh, for the shit of it. Uh, yeah, my cat sings super loud. That's what she does. Um, up to Holland and had a little distillery tour of Coppercraft. Cool little place. But I, I don't think I was very much into whiskey at that point in time. This is probably like. I said it'd be about four years ago we did that. And um, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rest of the cheese, by the way. <laughs> it's my favorite mozzarella. It's so good. Um, but like I had it, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Bought a bottle. And this is one that I think would upset us now. I think I paid like 50 something. For did this. you really? Yeah. And that was one that was like, you're supporting the distillery. And it's like, I wish I didn't. Do you want to know what would upset us <laughs> more? Is what Chris, what you're drinking, I paid $125 for plus tax. That I was really going to say, let, let's talk about the price on this because this, oh. I can't even like, I can't even put into words. Like you, you, you undersold this, Dan, and that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, like, really, that's how, that is how bad this is. I don't, you know, right. Mike said, is there a chance we have a bad bottle? So there definitely is. A peerless? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think, think that's true. I don't think they're single barrels. I don't think good bottles exist. Um, I've heard some store picks were good. All right. I am gorgeous it's on one the bottle. Of those, but... It's one of those <clears throat> things, man, that oh. I'm not willing to spend anywhere near any price. I'm not willing to spend $25 oh. on another bottle of peerless no. to oh. see if I have a bad one now. Um, you know what smells good after that, Covercraft? This. Is that shit more? Yeah. It smells great. Ooh. Is that Isla? <laughs> Good. No, this is um, definitely Isla. Holy shit. I didn't drink I, scotch on my island. I, I mean, you had a pretty good chance 33%. of getting it right. Yeah. No, there's there's more Island, there. Lowland. There's like six. Isla. There's like six. Um, Space Nine. Yeah. There's four. There's more than that. There's like six. Chris probably know. Someone will know. This smells so good. Pepper. Off that ping pong table, Mike. Um, while Chris is enjoying the peerless, yeah, thank you for that. By the way, I heard, oh, I can, I I can hear the, the audio. I heard him go. Oh. <laughs> Every time I take a sip, but I'm not. I'm not gonna waste it. So. Dump it out, dude. Damn, Dump that shit out, bro. That out. Um, our be. peerless bottle currently sits on the shelf. Purely, oh, we've never dumped whiskey. Like we've never, yeah. we've dumped glasses of whiskey yeah. out, but we've never dumped like a bottle. Bottle, no. The I, bottle now sits on the shelf as an ornament in order to give to people who don't know what it is that are going to have a terrible. She's experience. Looking like she really wants to jump up there, and I really hope that doesn't happen. Why? She's not making that jump. <laughs> oh, it'll be fun to watch. You can point the camera. <laughs> uh, Needless to say, Peerless is um the art. Let's put it this way: our bottle of Peerless is purely bullshit. Yeah. yeah, marketing. It's so bad, man. And they, they, Dan has that uh, fear of missing out thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. and they play a tune right to your heart. Yeah. Oh, cool ass bottle. Yeah. I've seen Peerless a couple times on the shelf. Like I could have got it, but yeah. The it, price alone, you know, it just, and the age. The, the only reason I bought one was because it was the only one I've seen in Midland. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. the only one I've seen in our city. People have talked about that bottle sitting on a shelf for $60 now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's cap. Um, ah. um, it's a good dram, then, isn't it? Yeah, it, it. Oh, shit, Bobby's in here. Listen, from I Whiskey, she wants. Ah, listen, <laughs> what one? If somebody brings home another $500 bottle of whiskey to your house tonight, no, <laughs> we're not it's spoiling good. shit. All right, we're shutting her down. So, this is what my cat does, she is part parrot. <laughs> Maybe the peerless would make a good old fashioned. Now, if you if you're looking for <laughs> here we go. <laughs> if you shovel if you shovel fresh fresh horse shit from a barn. <laughs> that's what it is. If you want that in your cocktail, that, that's that on is, you. That I mean, okay. you can come up and have so, as much as you want of it. That um the Red Eagle stuff that we had. Yeah, it sounds like 
that's literally not as bad as Peerless. Mm -mm. And Dan about lost his shit. I almost spit it out. That. I almost All spit right. it out. Pepper, you need the, yeah. you need the calm, calm your sails. It's not getting any better as I let it sit either. Dude, it's I not I promise it doesn't. I promise it doesn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just fucking doesn't. <laughs> That's Nothing one that's ever. like maybe if we give it enough time, it'll yeah. open up with air. It's been eight months. <laughs> that's what it tastes like after eight months, dude. So think that's, about that. It terrible. might make a good cocktail because, like, if you cover it up enough with shit, I don't care if you, yeah. if there is one percent peerless in ninety nine percent old fashioned <laughs> cocktail ingredients, it will taste like shit. I swear to God, it's one of those yeah. overbearing flavors for sure. It's really quite amazing what they did with this, though, because something high proof like that, I can usually make it through fine without any problems. Like, give sure. me the proof, and I can pick out more flavors with it. But this is it's just a two year rye. Yeah, um, it's it's uh, no. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Hey, don't say thank you. That one was <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> we didn't know you were gonna drop a case of good samples on us. We thought, Bro, like, I, right. have, I have so much shit to give you now. Um, yeah, no, no, it's fine, really. So we're good. Richie, we just talked about how many bottles we have open. Trust me, we have whiskey to spare. Okay, Richie said, "Is Pikesville the best available affordable rye?" No, Old Forester rye. And listen, Joseph. Old Forester rye is great. Rittenhouse isn't either, bro. No, we no. poo pooed on Rittenhouse. Here's the thing. Now, here's the thing. We didn't do we didn't do Rittenhouse justice. Mm -hmm. She's pretty. coming to you. We didn't do Rittenhouse. She wants a broad set of shoulders. I don't blame her. She's not. She wants a parrot on you. Um. So we didn't do Rittenhouse justice because every if you Google Rittenhouse Rye review, what you'll find, especially if you look on Reddit, all right, every comment will be, but. It's good in a cocktail. Yep, that's Everyone. what I said. That's exactly what I said. You were the and you're the reason I started Googling it because you said that. And I'm like, okay, I wonder if this is like a common thing. Dude, it's the most common thing. Everybody it says is. it about written Oh. Okay. Well, so I have this glen that's now ruined because I had scotch in it. And okay. I've got this one that's ruined because I brought it has you more coppercraft in it. I brought you more. Have you tried coppercraft yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. It hurt. So did you drink it? No, not yet. You should. I keep smelling it, and then I keep getting really upset. <laughs> um, that's that's a drink right there. If um, you want, uh, so the this best is value rye, in my opinion. This is the really really old stuff. Remember that. It's not ours. Isn't better, but if you want, um, I think the best value rye is Old Forester, but Old Forester doesn't necessarily drink like a rye. It's not no, really spicy. good though, too. Pikesville's great, but uh, it's 55 bucks. I, I read something the other day, and I couldn't agree with it more, that um, Old Forester rye is the bourbon drinker's rye. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. like, dude, that's actually perfect. That, that's exactly yeah. what it is. <laughs> Why it's, is got a, it's got a whole other like, level of like floral, floral sweetness. <laughs> Why mm. is that so spicy? That? Yeah. It's corn. No, spiky. I'm sorry. Spiky, yeah, no, not it's spicy. It's Gosh, really that copper crack is spicy. Spiky. Did I say spicy again? Yeah. I'm going to quit saying the word with the S and the P in it. So, <laughs> um, God, That one, yeah, that one, no. Yeah, man, I agree. Old Force of Rise. So I've she heard, uh, I believe it was Brandon. I don't know if he's in chat. Brandon mentioned that he kind of gets like a barley wine. I think it was Brandon who said mm -hmm. he kind of gets a barley wine feel from it. I don't disagree. Papa. Oh, no, he's right. He's right for sure. Barley content, pretty low rye content, super low corn content. Um, I, I actually think the secret to their rye is the low corn. I think the reason it doesn't taste yeah. young. So the, our issue with it's Rittenhouse. That, you get that high barley too. You get to no, more floral. Barley. Yeah, our, it gives it such a good mouthfeel. Our yep. issue with old or Rittenhouse was it tastes like dusty corn. It tastes like young bourbon. And then we found out that it was really high hey. corn is he got you got two, <laughs> two on the cave? <laughs> Demon Pepper, cat. Pepper, you got to go upstairs. The cat is eating the uh, the electronics. Um, He's a good cat. But Rittenhouse is really high corn content, and it's a four years old. Rittenhouse rise for So it was one of those things that it was like, why are we tasting dusty corn? Sean looked up the mash bill, and we finally found out that it was uh, high corn content. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gosh, dude. And then the Old Force Rye is really high barley, 
is 65% rye. It's really low corn. But mm-hmm. it's, when we went to the distillery, I think they said it was like four, four to six years old or something like that. So it's like it's pretty young. I think yeah. the reason you don't get the youngness out of it is because the corn content's so low they covered it up with barley instead. But yeah, probably true though. But it, it drank much smoother. You're right. Dude, I love it. I'm a huge fan of Old Forester Ryan. Well, the price is ridiculous too. Like twenty, I think my, I got mine for like twenty six. And like yeah. I was, someone put it in the comments here, Michter's Michter's Rye, and like yeah, that's a great Rye, but it's forty forty one bucks. I think it was. Yep. I got my bottle. Yep. So for 40. value, like it's just Old Forester's on another level. So I've never had Michter's single barrel rye. Um, we nope. bought Michter's single, or I'm sorry, uh, small batch like bourbon. Mm-hmm. And we opened it, and that was one of the things we really didn't like. Mm-hmm. And then I opened it like four months later, and it, it was like, oh, it's really good now, oh. actually. Michter's bourbon. But because oh, of bourbon? how yeah. the small batch bourbon went, I never bought the single barrel rye. Yeah. It's only 40. It is 40. Now Old Force is 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree, man. That's I think it's actually really good. I really liked it. Yeah? Do you like it more than yeah. that? Have you had the bourbon? You can almost buy two old foresters for that price, though. Is a problem. That's true. So. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. What's that, dude? I still have Pingree in here. Hey, bro, one of us got to drive home tonight. Oh, Benny's. Oh, it's Russell's. I'm going to get into that. Give me just a few minutes. <laughs> Why do you pour so much Pingree? Well, this is, I, I, this is like my third Pingree. I had black and then blue. So it's my second. Oh, I had I red, have, black, I didn't blue. have black. Yeah. I skipped on black. I had that little dram of uh, Bowmore. DJ said best for the money is high west double rye, about 32. If you can get high rest double rye for anywhere near 30, I would buy it alongside of Old Forest Rye before I bought Pikesville. If you're willing to spend 55 on Pikesville or 50 I, on Pikesville, I, I do like I would Pikesville, buy those two. I do too. I like Pikesville. It's good, but for the money, I if buy I can Old have Forest Two fifths, one Old Forest Rye and one high west double rye. You're good. You don't even like that. Yeah, you're going to hand that over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Knob Creek twice barreled is the bourbon drinker's rye. Sean, how do you feel about that? Hey, Sean. Who said it? Who said it? How do I mean, you feel about that? Joseph, dude. Joseph's Joseph, dropping fire in here tonight. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, that one is like super hit or miss. It's really um, it's not hit or miss. It's like really tobacco. If that's your flavor profile, yeah. we don't have the same palate. But I think Sean, I think he liked that. Sean loves it. But yeah. he loves cigar-y, tobacco-y yeah. whiskey. So that's why I say it's hit or miss. No, it's not. It's cigar-y and tobacco And if you don't like that, it's shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't like that. Neither of us like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a miss. For us. Yeah. Yeah. There's no hit. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking swing as much as you want, dude. <laughs> okay. It's a miss. Um, yeah, that one, I, I don't know. We just couldn't get into it. No. We can't get into it. We hated it. <laughs> yeah, you should not watch our review of it. Uh, wow. Rye, Jack of all blades says Rye doesn't oh, you the right now, right? Russell What's up? Yeah, I've got the Russell Reserve Binnies pick. That oh, this is one of my here. this is one of my favorite bottles I have, honestly. Oh shit, bro! I just just you know Russell's just so solid, you know. That one is holy shit. Um, wow. <laughs> I whiskey she wine says Boss Hog Five is a hell of a budget rye. <laughs> 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 best I, one of the best values in the game. <laughs> I, I don't even think I have a rye here. Um, I let's see. Lot forty cast strength can't go wrong. We, trying so hard. Hey, are, are you trying? No, are you though? Try harder. I yeah, I gotta you get me. Uh, accounts. Yeah, but you manage the only person we know in Canada. One person. Yeah, get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pick up the gun. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to chill the fuck out oh, with that. Right. So. I, okay, so here's what Dan is hoarding over here. Uh I think Jolene. That is Jolene. Which <laughs> is, what's the proof on that? I don't know, fucking tons. Yeah, and then all this Russell's. That's probably more of that in here. That's probably one of the best Russell's I've smelled in a long DJ time. DJ Beacon says drink scotch night. Like you're, I, you're I did. Home. I had I had some Bowmore. I've, uh, the only other one I have. Um, no, we've got uh, the Ardbeg Lugalugalaga Lugadale. <laughs> and um, and then I have uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I have uh, a Highland Park Twelve. Oh, that stuff is this, fucking I like rough. This. I like yeah. this a lot. <laughs> okay. If you hate whiskey, you'll love that shit. 
Um, Will and Sazerac are two guys no one talks about that surprises me. Jeffrey said that. So here's the Ooh, thing. Will it four year ride? That's not a budget ride, good sir. It That's is a if you demolish it. It is high. if you find it at this mm -hmm. at retail. Yeah. Is it fifty bucks there? Like That's 40, the problem. Yeah. It's forty something. Let me explain to you what that does to every other rye in the forty dollar, fifty dollar, sixty dollar category. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's the most like complex young rye to ever exist. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Why does Willet have magic at their distillery? Jesus' tears. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand it. Have, hey, Chris, have you had um, Willet four year? No, I haven't had the Willet four year. Obviously, I've had the Saz rye, but Saz, I mean, Sazerac, I, I always say the Saz is like, I'd rather drink Saz straight versus Rittenhouse. I, I always okay. say this. But I like agree. Rittenhouse, I prefer in cocktails. That's what I, you know. I think, yeah, I think we put baby Saz above Rittenhouse too. Hey, we put Rittenhouse dead last. Yeah, I think I put Saz. Yeah. Straight, so. We put Wild Turkey third. Yep. We put Baby Saz second. Baby Saz second. And then Old Forster first. first. Yeah. And then we we put Willet as a fucking not fair. Miley Cyrus on a wrecking ball yeah. swinging through all four. <laughs> it's just, it, yeah, it, it's not fair. That okay. one, we paid 80 in Kentucky for it. Well, I mean, wow. Sean did, but yeah. yeah. Okay. It's worth $80. That is an $80. It's prize. worth 80 bucks. Yes. Wow. That's that's not one that I'd be like, well, I'd rather have like three bottles of Old Forester for. I would rather have Willet Four Year than Knob Creek Castle. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's a very interesting. That's because yeah. I mean, eighty to eighty almost. And I finished my Knob Creek Castle bottle. Do you have another one? Nope. I have oh. two Willet Fours. But I only have one now. No, I have no, no, no. One's bunkered. <laughs> one's open. <laughs> yeah, Willet. Wait, is, where's that Willet Four Year set? Willet's so good. Uh, in my cabinet in the, inside the house now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Interesting. So, I don't know. There's something special about Willet. I don't know what they're doing there. I don't know why it works so well. Yeah. Um, that, and there's something about that four year that it, it's literally mind blowing. Yeah. That's <laughs> ridiculous. That's, so that's one if you get a chance to find a bar, definitely try. Yeah, I'm gonna have to now. No, 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 no. We can make it, that happen. Actually, see. <clears throat> yeah, I got. We got like a fuck. You know, we need to give you a bunch of samples. I'll go into Dan's house and I'll make sure you get a sample. Or a bottle, <laughs> whatever. Oh, oh <laughs> just there you go. it's so hard to get a bottle of Willet up here. You know what I mean? It is. No, it's impossible. It's right impossible. This is why um, I won mine, both my bottles in an auction, oh and this is why Willet is probably not talked about as much as you're referencing it should be. Is because the, the distribution reach. is so yeah. poor. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So I don't know who that's on. I don't know if that's their intention. I don't know if that's on purpose. I don't know if there's like a law and they they're having an issue. I don't know what it is, but it's a fucking problem. So yeah. Mike M asked if the will uh, pot still is any good. Nope. I have a bottle, but I have not opened my bottle yet. Nope. I, I've heard bad things about it though. No. Nope. <laughs> we didn't hate it. I didn't like it. Yeah. I wouldn't it buy was, one if I saw it because um. Sean Opperman, when like the first time he came over ever, yeah. Um, we did like a miniature whiskey night with just us three, and he brought the a uh, half gallon of it. So it's a it's the exact same bottle, but just scaled up. It's this tall, I swear to God. And you're just like, <laughs> all right, cool. We get an ounce <laughs> out here, and uh, it's like, all right, yeah, it's not good, but it's not bad. It, if you like nutty bourbon, you probably like it a lot. Yeah. It's really, 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 really nutty. You like wild turkey? It's like a nut bomb. Really? So it doesn't yeah. it doesn't follow that will it flavor profile that I mean it is pot you know the pot still in Yeah, it doesn't follow their it doesn't follow the other will no, it does yeah, follow like your, upstairs. What are you doing here? I'm just I'm just looking. I'm seeing the quality, bro. I just I, need she to would know. yell downstairs if it gets bad. That's I don't know that that's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we can do it. Oh, actually what I wanted to see for real. What am I bogging down your internet? Okay, no, that's what I want to see. So anyway, fiber. Um, son. Rowan's Creek. I liked Will. Yeah, I really did like. Rowan's or I'm Creek. sorry. What's the other one? Noah's. Noah's dark. Noah's dark. Noah's, 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 Noah's <laughs> dark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I liked Noah's Mill more than I liked Rowan's mm, Creek. Yep. I didn't know open Noah's that I had left. I had both at that time. No, no, no. I went over there that one day after he came oh, back from uh, okay. Chicago and he got all that. So stuff. I had just opened Rowan's and he, I think he got it. He said he got paid like 35 for it. Yeah. I was like, that's a hell of a $35 bottle. Oh, that's yeah. okay. It, they're all, so Rowan's Creek, Noah's Mill, both nutty. 
Will it pop? I was going to say, I think Rowan's got more of a, that's a hit or miss flavor profile. Like, it's like corny nuts. Yeah. It's like corn nuts. I liked it. Corn nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, corn yeah. nut. It was nice and, and clean. Noah's Mill, when I did my review of that, it was literally all just like peanut butter. It was so creamy, mm-hmm. like so creamy. Apparently, there's um, an old – I don't know what batch it is. There's an old batch of no – now all I want to say is Noah's Ark. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said Noah's Creek at that point. Like, it's not far away you were from closer it. with that yeah. one than Noah's Ark. So Noah's <laughs> Mill – there's an old batch of it that's apparently like absolutely incredible. Even yeah. if you even if you don't love nutty bourbon, it's so good. But it was back. I think it had like Willet bourbon in it. And okay. It wasn't all sourced or something like that. So my uh, that um, rare breed that I'm really crushing on, and me and Gabby put a good dent into her. Um, that one is it, that's a peanut butter bomb now. Is this uh, LL? <laughs> G. Yep. Okay. So that's the one everybody like. That's shit like or sweet loves. peanut yeah. butter. Oh, Somebody said so like, uh, what did they say? Something Snickers, like liquid Snickers. Oh, I can see. So that. think about yeah. that next time you drink yeah, it. Okay. I don't know if it is, but I can see that. Yeah, it was sweet peanut butter. The last time I drank it, it was hot. It drank so much hotter than I expected it to. Sixteen. I know, but that's but that, relatively uh, low. Yeah, for like for a barrel proof. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that's uncharacteristic of rare breed. Most of them drink super, super mm-hmm. like low. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I get a, I definitely get that oak a lot more in the the rare breed versus like the one hundred and one, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's what smooths it out a little bit. What's your uh, what's your go to? I was just gonna ask that bottle what? right now. If you're gonna drink on a random night of the week, it's a completely normal night. It's not a good day or a bad day. You're not celebrating. Mm-hmm. What's what what bottle are you gonna reach for? Oh, that's a tough question. I can probably, just a, the probably just a normal night of the week. It's either Wild Turkey 101 or probably one of the Buffalo Trace store picks. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Like you can't go wrong with like either of those usually, uh, you know? Yeah. Cause I have like a, a wet bar upstairs. So like these, this is all downstairs and it's sparse right now. But um, like I think I have like early times, the rare breed, Varial Barton. Straight from the barrel. Mm-hmm. I do have straight from the barrel right there. That is not an everyday drinker. That is an, an upcoming video that we'll have to do. But um, we haven't done that yet. We have not no. done that yet. I've had it. Dan hasn't. It's awful. Don't it's, buy it. Yeah. Absolutely terrible stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, so it was really good because he had a, the Blanton's Gold, which I think will be next Monday. Yeah. I think that's Talk next to you, Monday. dude. You're the Monday guy. Yeah, I think that's going to be our next Monday video is Blanton's Gold. And he had had oh, that. It's so good. I don't. We aren't even huge Blanton's fans, and Blanton's Gold is so damn good. Mm, and then there's Blanton's Gold, and then there's Blanton's Straight from the Barrel. You know, Louis? Just Louis. Okay. You said it was really yeah. hot. He, you're, you're so not wrong, too. It's, it's uh, ridiculous. The, well, without even ruining the richness of the flavors. Um, I would imagine it's barrel proof. That makes um, sense. I tell you what, uh, we talked about um, Booker's 30th grabbing you. Goes straight from the barrel grab you. That's 66.6 something percent. That's really high. 133. 133. Okay. That's really high. That is a serious gale. You need to know the proof before you you get into (laughs) it. I even told Gabby, I was like, hey, try this. It's very hot. Just know that. Sure. Um, Yeah. Good though. You enjoy it. I would. Here's the thing. Realistically, <laughs> neither, of like Bland, or neither of us like bland, or neither of us dislike bland. No, we both like bland. We call it the we just basic don't love bitch it. bourbon. Yeah, we both really, really liked gold, right? Yeah. Uh, gold so I would was. imagine neither of us are going to be like, "Wow, straight from barrel shit." That's not the expectation. Mm-hmm. No, but we're expectation monsters. That yeah. um, true. our high expectations usually ruin things. So that's also very true. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, so the the Blanton the the, uh, the Blanton's pick I sent you was actually a store pick. Oh, there's one in there. Motherfucker, will you drink uh, some one? I it's got a, it's a blend. It's I a blend. No, why'd you pour six ounces of shit? I don't even know what this is anymore. <laughs> what are you drink right now? Right oh, now. I could have told you after I smelled it with that bullshit. I still have my copper crap right <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah. You can just put yeah. them together and then burn that. No, but the, the first time I drank it, it tasted like super high rye, like super high rye. 
That's not great. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh, I was actually really excited for this, the the Oceans, the Voyage 16. Oh, yeah. that That's one of the best bottles I have in my bar, honestly. I would I would try that. Is that the I weeded or not weeded? No, 15 is weeded. Okay. Hi, hey, did you have the weeded, Chris? Yeah, I actually just put a review out today of the weed. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I saw the uh, I saw it on Instagram or Facebook, one of the two, but I haven't mm -hmm. watched it yet. Wait, what did you like it? Um, so I did it as a blind sample. So yep. like I didn't know what I was drinking. And yep. I, I had it in a sample bottle that my wife had poured for me, and the, the bottle was like half full. So And it was sat that way for like two months. So I think the sample I had was bad, honestly, because it, okay. it, 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 it kind of tasted like it turned a little bit. Okay. The actual bottle itself is unique. Like the price tag, it's like I think it's eighty bucks is what yep. I paid for it. That's like state minimum. Yeah, and it, I don't like that weeded profile as much, even as like a, a Weller one hundred and seven. I like that weeded profile much better. We didn't like it. Uh, we thought it was flat. It was very simplistic. Yeah, um, it was exactly. It's like mm -hmm. caramel sweet, and then it yep. was like you kind of get nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. you know, caramel butterscotch, a little bit of oak, and yeah. then it's just. I mean, the brininess a little bit, like, earlier in the bottle, but now not even hardly at all. Like, I got none of it when on the blind sample. Okay, what's really funny is, like, um, did you pick that out blind, like, the brininess? Nope, not at all. N none of the okay. sample I did. I didn't get any any brininess at all. Nope. Um, I I think we have, like, so when we first opened yeah. our regular Jefferson, uh, the Ocean, I don't know which one that is. I bet it's like Voyage 10 cast or something. Strength. Voyage, yeah. no, 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 it's just Voyage. Yeah, I'm, talking Voyage. The, I'm talking about the cast Oh, one. the tropical one. Yeah. yeah. When we first opened that, Whew. like it was juicy fruit. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, it was like yeah. crazy. And I was like, yeah. this is one we can't get wrong. And then you go back to our videos, we definitely got super wrong. It was like, we can't not pick this out. It yeah. just changed so much from what it started. Um, yeah. And now it just tastes like a normal cast strength um, bourbon. But it does have that little bit of brininess. We call it like a salted caramel. Yep. And, and, and I agree. The cast strength does have that because I think just the amplified flavor helps with that. But like the weeded, it was completely gone. I mean, at least in the sample bottle it was. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember. But the, this, the sample I sent you is actually a store pick. It's a... It's not in there. Which one? There's not a point. Oh, did I read that? Are one? you looking for blends? Yeah, got buffalo. Buffalo, because I, I started categorizing it, so that's why I got buffalo. I didn't mean to overwhelm you. I'm sorry. Not We're not smart people. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh is man. It, I, so we have it? we have one that says blind sample on it. Is that the Blanton's one? Oh shit! Did I do that? <laughs> I just looked at him. I said, "I oh, wait." No. I don't see. I could. I could. I forgot. That's my fault. That's my that's fault. So right. funny, man. Yeah, man. We might actually forget. Um, well, not I did forget. Right now. <laughs> We can. Um, now you know what it is, though. At least that's fine. Let's go. Um, let's do the. Uh, what was the one we were just talking about? Jefferson. Wait, Ocean's? which one do you like more, Blends or uh, Jefferson's Ocean? I probably like the Jefferson's Ocean more, honestly. Do that one. Okay. So, so this is actually a store pick of the Voyage sixteen. Sixteen Cedar Rock Riverside Liquors. Okay. Where's yep. that at? That's it's the same kind of like parent company as the Riverside Riverside Liquors picks you guys had, but probably Grand Rapids, though. That's weird. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, just the general vicinity of where you're You think you can fin finish one of your night Bro, blends? I'm going <laughs> to finish one of them? No, fuck no. I need to work in the morning. Yeah. I went okay. to bed at two last night. Pour your, that's because you have a sick child. Yeah, that's he's good now. But also, okay. Oh, that's good to hear. Mm. That's also kind of what we're doing here, I feel. Mm -mm. I, I didn't better. know if you wanted to leave. Your internet. internet, yeah. Yeah. For Hangouts, your internet's better. I have a... Uh, I live in the middle of nowhere. We both do. Um, I live way more in the middle of nowhere. That's you. true. You live and in a town. Somehow I have fiber of. internet, so no, yeah. it, it um, doesn't make sense. I don't want to put it in the Covercraft one. You got that water pitcher, please? Yeah. Oh, you finished yours. All right. That's After right. this, we have to drink a little bit of scotch. Yep. And uh, I definitely, I definitely want you guys to try that Oogadale. We can talk about Oogadale. Uh, Oogadale. We talk about Game Movie of Thrones. Like a lot, like talk about Game of Thrones just for a little bit. Yep. Um, blatant store picks are not common, Richie. No, um, they're pretty uncommon. Very much so. Um, they're also. I cannot believe I did that. I, did I really write blind sample on that? Yeah. Yeah. My dumb ass. Yeah. 
Yes, I swear. I must have been drinking when I when I did that. I'm sorry. That's so funny, dude. That's okay because I'm just as excited Shit. your way. So. No wonder you were so confused the whole time. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. No <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie. Your your blind sample label is fantastic. That it has your own like format yeah. on it. And yeah. Got your little symbol. I was like, that's amazing. And then I was like, dude, what's this one? It just says blind sample. <laughs> like, all right. I told him, I was like, I want to do like a video or something about it. Um, no, he no, loves so I, meant to, um, I, I meant to throw that in with all the rest of the samples. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to print the label for, for the Blantons. So I was like, oh, this, I'll just write blind on it. That's fine. That's hilarious. And then that just never, never worked out at all. That's funny though. Um, do you have a clean blend? No. What the? Is there an extra one? There's, I have. Bro, oh, six. no. Yeah. Don't you have three upstairs? Yeah, I know. But I gave. I think you put uh, catcher in one. Video. Oh, oh yeah. We can talk about that while I pour this. Why um, you pour it? Yeah. No, no, no. You heavy-handed motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not gonna have I have two glasses of whiskey right there. It's gonna be light-handed. Um. So you went to two James. Yeah. How did you feel about it without? You want more than that? Instead of water cycling. No, I'm laughing at my. Oh. Because I can hear our. Uh, uh, when we have a. Uh, Croc. Words. So it's definitely filling up right now from our water because I oh. filled this up off our RO. Oh. So it's refilling and recycling through it. Um, you went to Two James. How did you feel about Two James uh, after Valentine? Um, it's a lot smaller scale. Okay. You know, so like it's all on a lot smaller level. I mean, going to Valentine's kind of ruined it based on that at least. Sure. <laughs> But I mean, like they they put on a nice, really nice tour. It was pretty much just one big warehouse. He had everything, whereas Valentine's is on a big, you know, much bigger level. Okay. But all their expressions, I mean, they were nice. Like I, I've always said, those bottles are like gorgeous. Those two James bottles, they're so pretty. Oh, Dude, man. their the, labels um, are so on point. Labels are good. Bottles are good. He bought me. Yeah. Oh yeah. We had a bet. Like we always bet on everything in life because we're children. Um, <laughs> but he, we we had like a. It was a sixty dollar bet, fifty dollar bet. Something. It was something sure. close to that. Sixty probably. And um, he's like, "All right, bottle of whiskey. Like that's what we like betting now." Yep. yep. And um, he had brought over that uh, two James's the uh, Peter Riddle. whiskey. Yeah, J.R. Riddle. Oh yeah. Um, I yeah. was like, dude, he's got a fox on the label. I was like, yeah, gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. cool looking. I'm a big like, fox just, fan. Uh, it's at your house. Yep. I was gonna look for it, but I forgot. You can like, have it if you want it. <laughs> it's yours. We both yeah. hate it. For years. We both hate it. That's well, people. Are, yeah. I, maybe if we ever get back more into scotch and actually spread our wings on that. It still we tasted know. like a like uber, uber young peated scotch. I mean, that, yeah, like, but they, like, like that's that. what we talked about. It's like we're not even big in the scotch. I was like, I feel like it doesn't do better versions of anything. Like it's not a good bourbon and it's not a good scotch. And it mm -hmm. just – uh, wings itself on both fronts. Like you're just like, ah, I'm not excited about that. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I think I told Dan I was like that. That was probably my least favorite expression of what they had, honestly. But they had a. a you, you had to go through their whole whole thing. Like, then how do you feel about um? So you had uh, catcher's I rye. bought the catcher's rye. Mm -hmm. My son's name is Holden. Yeah, and yeah. We, na we named him Holden because of uh, Ricky and her dad. No one reads. Her dad yeah. had passed away, and her and her dad's favorite book was um, Catcher in the Rye, and so we named yep. her son Holden. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something on the mic like sensual. <laughs> so um, we did we did that, and uh, I, when I saw the Catcher's Rye from your picture, I'm like, I didn't know they had a whiskey named that, so I went and bought one. I just opened mm -hmm. it. Tonight. It tastes really – I was surprised how young it tasted. I guess I was kind of hoping it would yep. be a little bit older than, like, the two or whatever. But it's not bad. It just tastes young. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Um, but their, their actual, like, location was really, really nice. I mean, they were in a good part of Detroit. They had a really nice bar. They're you know, in really nice Corktown, aren't bar. they? What's that? Are, they're in Corktown, aren't they? Yeah. Right, yep, right in Corktown, yep. Yeah, that's a really cool um, area. It is. It is, yeah, for sure. All right. Oh, my see. gosh. This is, uh, I mean, just awful. I don't know if you saw, but Dan poured us both a little bit, and I might have picked up his Glen and thrown it into mine. <laughs> Jack of all blades said best young peated scotch. I don't know. 
I, uh, they're peated scotch. That's what he said. I'm they're really, all peated. They're not all peated. I think that's the thing of scotch. Um, so I would – my guess, my very unknowledgeable guess, is probably like a Compass Box release. Compass Box puts out some fucking fire as far as I know. I watch a lot of Whiskey Vault, and they drink a lot of scotch. Yeah, they do. And mm-hmm. they, That's because Daniel loves They scotch. seem to be big fans of uh, Compass Box. Okay. And, and I know that they put out young releases from time to time. So so I don't know for sure, but I think Compass Box uses a lot of scotch from, you know, big Scotland distilleries too, though. Okay. They source it then? They source it, exactly. I looked at one today, a Compass Box, that was like, it, it had, it said like four years or five years. It was really, um, the thing on the label was really young. So this one, this nose on the, the Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 16. This mm-hmm. reminds me of Baby Sav, that salted watermelon. Oh, that's weird. Like, it feels like a strengthened version of that. Not against that. Like, you can definitely taste or smell the brininess of it. Yeah. And, for like, sure. it's really, really sweet, but it's like a mellow sweet. Uh, yeah. I, th- I think the brininess always comes from this. And I always describe it like a salted banana, you know, like a salted banana caramel note on this. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph said, gotta go, everyone. Thanks for a good time. I'll put your numbers in the public restroom. <laughs> Bro, listen, only Thank put you. mine if you put like number and then call for a good time and then like eggplant and then water and then eggplant again. All the emojis. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Oh, hot tip for the chat room. Will it four year? We discussed earlier. It's sixty dollars on uptownspirits.com. Most reasonable price I've seen online bought two. More before telling you all this. Okay. I don't blame you. So the problem is a lot of shit never ships to Michigan. Um, we have to go it, through, No, a lot like, of stuff does now. Like okay. it's, it's getting. We had to do um, some weird trading here and there to get shit to Midland for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I don't know what Michigan had against, you know, good whiskey, but they didn't want it here. Okay. It's getting there. Now, okay. So Sipsy was much smarter than you. Of course. So not all scotch is peated. Compass box oh. is not always peated. Lagavulin 8 is a good young peated scotch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lagavulin 16 is a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> You're about nice. to try it, hopefully. Yeah. Heck yeah. We can we can go into scotch. Let's do it. You yeah, let's do two it. really good bourbons there. Mm-hmm. And I've got no watch glasses to put on top of them. Best peated Compass box. Peat Monster, Cast Strength, Magnum comes in... One and a half liter bottle. Oh, okay. So wait, who who said that? Which part? About not all scotch um, is peated. Sipsy, Sipsy Russell. So like, what's a? I'm I'm hoping they know scotch to be like. Tell me what's a really good non-peated scotch. I don't think a lot of space has monkey shoulder. Yeah. Oh, space we have monkey shoulder. It's blended, but I don't think a lot of space has are peated. Okay. Like, that's why I like space eyes, I no? think. Okay. Honestly. Nope. Like, like okay. the most common is probably like Glenn Levitt 12 is unpeated. Um, You're so wrong, dude. All I've time. got a bunch of good about Scott either, either, so I just know the very basics. But the little ones? Yeah. I might still have them left. I don't know what we finished and what we didn't. Here's a question. Because for- we had the Nectar Dior, and I said that mm-hmm. wasn't the good one. The one that they had that was Sherry Cask, mm-hmm. that was fantastic. It's like a, a La. Start La Santa, I think. Okay, here's the real question, though. Okay, because this is a question I asked on. I don't remember where. Oh, yeah, Instagram yeah. story the other day. Good. I want to watch Game of Thrones, <laughs> and I have to drink scotch. Mm-hmm. You don't want to watch Game of Thrones. You're going to watch Game. Gonna of watch Thrones. Game of Thrones, and I have to drink scotch because I need to feel like I have, uh, like I'm a man, right? Oh, space, space Eyes and Highlands aren't peated. You know what I have right here? An Isla. I have a Highland Park 12. Nope, not drinking that. Scroll. <laughs> All right. I'll drink that. No, we got to drink the this one. What's this one? Where's this one? Get this one. The Oogadale. Ardbeg. I just smell that. It smells good. All right, so this is Ardbeg Oogadale. This is 54.2%. So this is pretty much like near cast strength for scotch. Wow. Holy shit. Um, was the, what, what was the one that um, Sean had that you really liked? That was the one he was It has a little peat. Okay, so it said Highland 
part 12 has a little heat. It's the um It's not bad though. This that, one is like this is the one that got me more in scotch. So mm-hmm. our big NOA is the one you're asking me about. Okay. In a way. Yep. Um, so the, the, the difference in this one is this art bag is actually sherry finished. Okay. Ooh. So you might get, you get, you know, it's more friendly to bourbon drinkers, you know, like us. Yep. So that, I, that's probably why I like that Glen Morangi sherry cast finished one. Cause it, it has all that sweet characteristic that really bounds out that, uh, that smoky characteristic. You don't dress it. It's not very much fun. That's fine. So here's the real question. The question I was going to ask is, what scotch do you drink while you watch Game of Thrones? This one. Oh. Or 12. Now, here's the thing. I do, I almost don't disagree with you that it needs to be aggressive in mouth. That is not aggressive. Insulting. If you have Lagavulin neck to that, you're going to be like, damn, that's good. That, did you have any of that tonight? I had a little bit. I have any of that. Okay. That's oh. like really, really sweet. That's citrusy. I want a compass box, but there's not a lot around here. You're going to love this. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Cat strength and sherry finished. I think I think you're gonna like this. Okay, I'm, I need to get in the right mindset um, because I don't so, dislike all scotch. So the problem for me on scotch is like I have to take like three good, um, just right through the nose. Just yeah, like yeah. all right, I get past that like smoky characteristic yeah. where I can really start dissecting it a bit more. Yeah. So like, okay, Dan, you said you were actually a fan of the Ardbeg Ten, right? I like the Ardbeg 10, and I like the Ardbeg Anoa a lot. So, like, when you go into the nose on this, you're going to, like, it, it doesn't hit you in the face with Pete like like the 10 does. Okay. There's, like, a lot of honey in there. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let my nose fucking eat through the smoke. You literally <laughs> have to, like, take, like I said, you, Fucker, I don't know how, like, in Whiskey Vault, there's, like, I'm dissecting it. It's like I have to literally go like, like this. I get a uh, caramel, peach, citrusy uh, grapefruit on a ripe uh, vine of uh, honeydew with a nice pumpkin seed toasted. Yeah, and I'm like, you know what? Hold on, wait. A minute. Exact same with you. I swear to God. God, you, I uh, put the fire out before we smell this whiskey. Um, or? This is really light on the, <laughs> the, the peat. Is it? So, it is. No, no, the, the peat is extremely subtle, especially for like 54%, you know? Okay. Andrew, Andrew Pearl said, White Walker, very cold, very cold for Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, I've heard I, that is the only way to drink that. I've heard that is the worst Johnny Walker, period. Yep. Yeah. I've heard it's worse than red, which apparently is horrendous. Yeah. No, no, no. some people actually like red. Oh. I've never red heard and that black before. have a, a, a good amount of difference in it. Yeah, I've heard you know red is like a the half dumb. a day old. Yeah. Yeah. The dumb Johnny Walker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I whiskey she wines earlier did say who's gonna end up on the throne. I did see it. We just haven't talked about it yet. We're getting into the scotch. Let me mm. get in the moment of like Damn. battle and war and fucking dragons and smoke and shit. Yep. And little people, and then I'll answer your question. Wow. Tyrion. Shade. Tyrion. What are you doing with it? One of the best <laughs> characters in the show. I really, yeah. I drink and I know. Things. There's just so much sweetness on that. Yeah. Okay. The fact that you keep saying there's so much sweetness when I smell smoke. I've already had <laughs> one. All smoke. Hold on. I'm telling you, you got to go back and back and back. Yeah. And eventually your nose is like, what Ooh. smoke? Yeah. Was, he wants is a hot take and says, I say there will be no throne. That's a hot yeah, take. Could happen. could happen. You're right. It could happen. That's Ooh. a hot take. What do you think, Sean? Um, that has like a bit more smoke on the flavor than I would imagine it did. But mm-hmm. it's like, Really salty, um, mm-hmm. um, like I, I want to say, like can you ignore that. <laughs> I will really ignore that. Yeah, okay. like give me a second. There's something I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? That's not what I expected. Like, um, <laughs> it's like kiwi. But like what? in a bed of salt. What? It's like licking a cigar that, that was just put out. 
You were <laughs> no, no. What that tastes like? You have such an untrained palate. It Says the guy that memory. can't name a single whiskey correctly in a video. <laughs> no. I'm the song. <laughs> that's that's the issue. Apparently, it only works in bourbon. <laughs> like it's yeah. not a hard line of bourbon. That's like super sweet. Yeah. The well, compared to like the Arbe Ten, like the Arbe Ten, I got way more peat. Like way more peat. I might buy. So, have you had the Ardbeg Lore? It's so expensive. No. I've heard Lore is one of the best. Period. It's at um, what's it called? Court. <laughs> DJ, DJ Vegan says, "Does kiwi trump peaches?" <laughs> I think it does. Dude, that's Probably. So, that's so um, you just said kiwi out of scotch. You were worried about saying peaches and bourbon. <laughs> keep me out of scotch you know what i'm saying like it is it's like really brightly sweet but it's like a really what? like singular sweetness give me that bowl more i don't think you're that far off though sean because a lot of people describe uh tropical fruits in scotch you know like that has nothing to the the peat there's no yeah, there's like no peat in that compared to i just seen the fruit Oh, um, low. okay. That's sweet 40, compared to this. I mean, yeah, forty. Okay, mm -hmm. that's sweet. So this is um, this is, yeah. what is this? Art bag? Yeah. The. <laughs> I feel like I need to get used to this weird aftertaste in my mouth, dude. I bet you if you just go home and you pound that Lagavulin sixteen and the Dalmore you'll twelve, you'll eventually. Oh man, yeah, Dalmore twelve. That for me, that, that you're really getting to the limit on it. This cool feels bottle good. in the game. Um, I think the proof really cuts through the smoky characteristic Agreed. a lot more yep. than like just flavor would do. Yep. I agree 100%. I don't know how Sean, you... Sean, I think you have a nose for scotch, honestly. Sean likes scotch. I do. Like, a lot, sc I like scotch a lot more than him. I like Irish a lot more than him. He just oh. is very about bourbon. Sipsy yep. says, Compass Box, Spaniard... Uh, is a good non peated scotch, and Opperman's has one bottle of Compass Box Spaniard right now. There you go. I might buy it. It's like that 60 or 70 or something like that. Um, what's the, the Belvini's? I oh. have the 14. Oh, no. Oh, is it Belvini? Mm. Yeah. No. I have the 14 rum cask or whatever. Pete Week. Yeah, it is. Everyone talks about Belvini Pete Week. Yeah, yeah, that's got a. I think is that the one that's in the no Pete Monsters, the one I'm thinking of that's in that mm. really cool um, case mm -hmm. or tin. Mm -hmm. um, I also so coming back to bets, I lost a pretty significant one to a buddy, <laughs> and um, I bought him the Belvini 17 Double Wood. <laughs> that's expensive. That, <laughs> um, that that was amazing. That yeah, I think it was some sherry and bourbon cask, and um, it's exact same as what the twelve is. So I'd really mm, like to buy the twelve because okay. I love the seventeen, but it is half the price. No, mm -hmm. I might have to somebody else subs because uh, you have the Belvini fourteen, which is the rum, rum cask. I think. That's and good. That one is That's super good. interesting. I I'm like such a bigger fan now of rum cask stuff after like. The Angels Rum. Um, cool. What was that? Uh, if you know what that is going into it, it's good. If yeah, you don't, you're going to be crazy. Flavor. You're going to hate it. So, like, that's what rum does. Like, you just get these crazy yeah. flavors out of something. Mm -hmm. You're just, whoa. And that's what the Belvini rum is. You're just like, what? Yeah. So, just so I, just got a, I, I just got a bottle of the Ardbeg rum, which is actually rum finished, rum cast oh. finished in the Ardbeg. I have not even opened that yet, but. Man. <laughs> so here's the thing. So um, Andrew said, I have a bottle of Spaniard. It's very good. Lots of sherry, so it's sweet. Got a little bit of earthiness to it. I'm really, yeah, really it's digging. Like moss. And it's peat. Okay, it's peat moss. Pretty much. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, I don't like physically know. I've never physically fucking held peat. You wouldn't. Why is it not here? No, we don't I'm, have it here. I don't think we make it. That's definitely we correct. Make it? They Doesn't literally grow. grow it for scotch. It yeah. can't grow in the wilderness here. I don't know. I, it's all. It's something about the climate, and oh, even okay. different climates of Scotland grow different types of peat too, which is really cool. Yeah. So like okay. different flavor based on that too, you know. So if you're an animal like Daniel, he'd be able to be like, "This is probably one of these." Right. So yeah. Right. 
the, my thing about Game of Thrones is, after watching, listen, there are going to be spoilers. At this point, oh, grow happen. up. It's a week away. <laughs> if you yeah. haven't seen it, you're probably going to have to leave or you're going to hear what happened. When the mountain crushed the head of the viper. My God. That's season like four. I know. I just Maybe want three. everybody needs a fair warning. They deserve that. <laughs> if, if when that happened, I can't. This is my problem because I want now. I want the Spaniard from Compass Box, right? This is the issue. Say again. The the Spaniard from Compass Box is the Scotch, the one we just talked about a few minutes ago. Somebody said it's really you're good. Compass Compass Box. I so could not hear Compass Compass Box. So, anyways, they have it, and he said it's really sweet because it's sherry, and the sherry is like pretty overwhelming or something. Here's my problem: I cannot watch something like the Mountain crush a skull with his bare hands unless it tastes like brimstone and fucking fire dude <laughs> have you ever seen uh just this is gonna be weird you ever seen the the mountain as girlfriend mm-hmm. he's six foot Her? eight 400 yeah. pounds yeah. she's five foot four 150 pounds <laughs> sorry but what uh, you're saying is i'd watch it <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying but yeah. just for science reasons um Pete is an education decayed over hundreds of years. I don't no wonder it tastes like fucking shit, though, huh? You're really a hater on that? I'm getting... So the thing is, is I'm getting more used to that one flavor, so hopefully um, I can start to dissect so some So anyone other. that I've ever heard of getting in scotch and really enjoying the flavor of scotch, they were like, I had this buddy that was really into it, and like, I sat down, I drank a bottle of them. It's mm. like, you just had to get through that entire slump of mm. smoky PD flavors. Mm. And then you were like, Ooh, I like that. I think that's how bourbon goes too. Maybe. Like think of back in the high school or high school um, college. When we had wild turkey one hundred and one, yeah. we were like, Oh my God, who drinks that? Yeah. yeah. And I now you have one hundred and one. You're like, Oh, that's pretty good. I know. But the thing you is, is I can always happen. just go back to this. Yeah. You have to have okay. It's oh, not even fair. It's candy dude. And I'm fat as shit. So, <laughs> um, we it was great because we actually just when we were going down to Valentine, um, I told him I was like I don't even drink uh, a lot of like sugar like in can or sorry in soda. I don't eat a lot of candy. And mm-hmm. uh, in college, we used to always eat the um, Sour Patch Kids watermelon, like the oh, candy. Yeah. Oh my god, he bought a bag of those, and uh, I think we took it down in like an at least in half an hour i was like we should stop <laughs> yeah it was like crack right now i, I can't really stop is. eating this it really is but yeah and then we're like oh my god like when you go a long time and then you have a coke oh, yeah you have a good mcdonald's coke you're like so good that. so good oh good i get to slide over and see oh so, Sean, what do you think? you think it's easier for a bourbon drinker to convert over to scotch or opposite? I think opposite. Yeah. Um, I think there are so many more intense flavors in the scotch. Yep, agreed. Variety-wise. Yep. Used to. Um, yep. Bourbon has, I mean, I hate to say it, but it, it's really not a narrow profile. Um, like, if you get into that profile, you can really open it up. But for scotch, yeah. like... Uh, they, they have so many levers to pull, to go for flavor. And then we do. Mm-hmm. For so, right. Did you flush the toilet? Did I? You son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Everyone's going to hear my water <laughs> pump <laughs> kick on. Yeah. I can. <laughs> yeah. I told you. Um, yeah, I think it is definitely easier to go from scotch to bourbon than it is from bourbon to scotch. Oh, as oh, for sure. sure the case of this guy well that. scotch is not so not like i i get that there are definitely fruity flavors and some stuff bourbon is based around like caramels sugar and vanillas yeah um yeah. it's based off a mash bill of sugar where oh, gosh yeah. your, your sugar is so much more less from the barrel because yeah. you're using older barrels that aren't imparting that onto it that's why you get 50 year old scotches that don't taste mm-hmm. like a oak tree um like what they can do with that is you're really depending your flavors off of your mash bill and age rather than what you're putting it in. 
Right. Yeah. And uh, scotch uses sometimes like a second aged barrels too. So they'll age yeah. something and then they'll age them again in the new, you know, the other scotch too. So it's completely different flavor profiles, you know? That's mm, yeah, really good. That, that flavor, I just got straight um, of that sherry finish. Like that was like straight sugar on that oh, one. Finishing sherry. This one is the. Give us. Is it? Yes. Yeah, it, it is. It is. Holy shit! Can you imagine if it wasn't? Holy shit! <laughs> oh. Welcome. You're welcome. welcome. To the We've live talked stream. about this like nine times now. You're being right now. So, like the most recent cher sherry finished product you guys have had is probably what Red Breast. Um, sherry finished. I think the most recent one that we no, that's probably Red Breast. Uh, yeah, the list now, yeah. Um, because what's, we probably had angels with Oloroso cherry. Okay, is that do we get that before or after that we did? A, uh, it had to be before because we came back and then we did our red breast for uh, basically uh, St. Patrick's Day, yeah. yeah it's probably it has to be red, it had to be red breast, yeah. Um, 100%. Yeah, so red breast is okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we both put the stout first. It's weird how much more I like bourbon than all these other things, isn't it? Yeah, um, you're, you're definitely a, a bourbon only guy, I think. It's yeah. weird, man. You're like a bitch. Sure, I agree. I feel like scotch is where it's at. You want to, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like scotch is the most aggressive. I feel like I feel Canadian like is the easiest, and I feel like Irish is the is, um, most traditional. No, I feel like Irish is like, uh, easy. I, I feel like Irish, they have the most like um, driven characteristic of their flavor that most people try to emulate. Yeah. They, they really try to get to like one flavor profile basically I bet and then right. kind of give a little offshoot of mm -hmm. that. I would agree with that. Yeah. It's about right. Um, I don't, I, I actually like, a, there's a lot of Canadian whiskeys I've had that I actually enjoy a lot. I think Scotch has the, I, we were talking about that when you were there. I, I think they have the most levers to pull I heard you say for that, flavor yeah. that we can't do in bourbon. Mm, I disagree. I just don't, I don't think it started as much in bourbon yet. Okay. So like finishes are coming yeah. up now. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? They are now for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think the interesting thing is like, there hasn't been that much experimentation. There's not as much. Um, since you peed out, I'll, I'll go now. There's not, don't flush. Uh, there's not <laughs> as won't. much proof in bourbon as there is in scotch as to how things work out. So, Yeah, scotch is so varied, Richie said. That's that's exactly right. Yeah, uh, I was he, she one and said Irish Eagles, or they said I were Irish Eagles smooth. Yeah, it de um, depends on the Irish, though. Like, yeah. I haven't, I've never had like a disruptive Irish though. No. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, sometimes you get that pot still grain note though. Like even Jameson, like mm. once I had the, like at least right out of the bottle, the new bottle, it was like, it was a little bit, you know, like on the, on the yeah. Palette. Um, I guess when I say disruptive, I don't mean harshness, but I mean like, I feel like most of the, I feel like almost all the Irishes I've probably had. I could drink as a background whiskey. Yeah. 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 I get that. Whereas like with the, we had the Booker's 30th and I drank that. And I'm like, holy shit, man. Like this would pull my attention from whatever I was doing anyways. You know what I mean? Right. Right. No, that makes um, sense. Um, Not to say it like, I would say I like bourbon the most. I like Canadian whiskey the second, which some of that's pretty close to bourbon. And then I like Irish the third. Mm -hmm. um, at, the, at this point, I would say most scotches in last. But I like the idea of scotch a lot. So <laughs> you like the idea of scotch, you just don't like scotch. How dare you? I like my Belvini 14. Um what else? What else? what other scotches do I have at home? I don't I actually don't I like monkey shoulder. I don't monkey have any shoulder problem with monkey is shoulder. probably one of the better ones. Um Dalmore 12 is really aggressive. That's aggressive. In the log rule in 16 is really aggressive. That's hyper aggressive. Like, are you drinking that right level. now? No, I'm still on the art bag. Okay, I can move on though. Hey, um, you, you do whatever, man. Like, let yeah. me tell you do what, whatever. like that one, um, it that would one's be interesting. Rough for me, and I like scotch. It would be interesting 
to compare the log of Lulin 16 to this. If I had it here, I would compare it just to yeah. see. Well, well, the thing is, like, log of Lulin, I don't think is finished in anything. This is this is the finish, but I do have an Ardbeg 10, a regular Ardbeg 10, which is unfinished. Okay. okay. I that might really good. I might buy a Lefroig for Game of Thrones. Yeah. Just because I don't have one. I heard okay, so you're just going into the like the Deep more end. pinnacle Deep of end. Scotch. Let's go. The, Fuck the it. most peated smoky. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to swim. Like let's figure it out. So in like, the pool. Lefroig is supposed to be like literally gargling let's a do campfire. It. All right. The yeah, it's literally like cigar ash, is what I've heard. It's cigar yeah. ash is like. That's so, what that looks like. Nessie. But Dan, everyone says get the quarter cask. Get okay. the quarter cask versus the regular Lefroig 10. Okay. Supposedly better, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I still haven't had any Lefroig, but. Oh, looks like Sean's moving on to some Highland Park 12. Do you want the creamy fudge <laughs> Irish Jameson Castmate style? That's a good, good pop. I have, had, I have heard so many things about Jameson Castmate. I have too. Style. Oh, yeah. I um, haven't had it, but I've heard so many things about it. So I've oh, had the stout, I, I've the stout in the IPA. Um, the stout was way better than the IPA. I'll bring him over to it. Is that the Highland? That it smells is. so subtle compared to this. Our bag. Yeah. Like yeah. that's why I said, this is the bottle. This right here. If you're not, if you're a big bourbon fan, is that fan, the Viking Honor? Or no? no, this is not. This is just a regular Highland Park Twelve. If you're not a big um, Scotch mm, yeah. fan and you're looking to get into it, this is what I recommend. Ooh, TJ Pegan said, I hope they bring back Ramsey Bolton for this last season. You know what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I think he might know. One of the rudest characters ever in the fucking show, by the way. Yeah, I, just no. I, okay. I just figured it was just a great character. Great character. Um, how I think it's going to end. I think Tyrion has a chance at the throne. Yep. And I think he makes the decision... Um, to He's gonna break it up. I think he makes the decision oh. to let it be destroyed. Basically, I think that's how. Yeah. That's my guess. It's how do you feel about that? Random. Like that's, honestly, it's amazing, isn't it? Amazing is a really strong word. So the thing is, is they said they they had the decision from the beginning for who was gonna get like oh, the really? throne. That that's what I heard at least. Like they, from the like first season, they knew where they wanted to go eventually. I don't okay. know if that's true. That's okay. what I heard. So. What it was is George R. R. Martin said, I'm old, I could die. This <laughs> yeah. vision the series going. Um, if I don't finish it out, make the series to kind of go along this path. And so, like, very, very select few people have known, like, what he wanted to do. But mm -hmm. so thankfully, he made it to age to write all the books and finish it out. Right. Um, he didn't finish it. The books aren't out. No, it's not over. It's gonna be over. But he, he can't get right for HBO. Yeah. yeah, but they're finishing in his vision. Mm -mm. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, he, he's he's on staff. Yeah. So he's, he's a part of yeah, it. Yeah, they're finishing in his vision. Mm, he's a part of it. His vision. Okay. I don't know. His vision makes it sound like he's like, "Hey, idiots, do this." And okay. I know that he's just a part of it. You know what I'm saying? So like, there's a lot of shit that goes out of the show because of how fucking ridiculous the books are mm -hmm. like um the books are at 12 and uh -huh. the show is an eight no like they cut out no nope. a good amount of stuff. no because i have to read the books to enjoy it to try to enjoy it like <laughs> catlin stark is a zombie Ugh. yeah like that's part of it like, chris who's your so least favorite character in the show mm. oh man it's so easy. Well, they've they already pulled off a couple of them, luckily. So we're, we're, oh, we're good. I should say, let, let me rephrase it because, yeah. Person is still alive. Let's, let's rephrase it to who is, what's your least favorite storyline that, like, has happened within the last season, season and a half ish? Something mm -hmm. like that. Storyline? Yeah. Uh, Character storyline. Like, each one of the main characters has their own storyline, basically. Yeah. At this point. I mean, honestly, like the whole Lannister side really doesn't interest me that much. Like okay. I'm, I'm more looking at the the whole Jon Snow, Daenerys type side. Like that's the side I that more interests me, I guess. But it's still interesting. Like I don't think she's gonna get the throne. Like Cersei's never gonna get the throne. No way. No. But I, I hope she dies a magnificent death like that. <laughs> <laughs> she's killed a lot of people. She deserves one. Yeah. Um, for me, like the I would go with the most frustrating one is uh, Sam. 
Like they've really teetered on a lot mm -hmm. of fucking things with I'm him. I'm good with him. But the, it, just show something. What do you mean he's turning into the the guy yeah. for the night's watch? He's the one that is supposed yeah. to be like like yeah. that's part of the the theory is he's the one that like this story's already passed. He's the one yeah. writing the story sure. of what happened. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. And like he's just like such a minimal character that eventually should have a big role. Mm-hmm. He's making I, another um, uh, what's uh whatever steel reserve. No, <laughs> <laughs> like I what uh, what, what like John Snow sword is mm, that kills uh, the White Walkers. Dairy, uh, yeah, it's been so long since Game of Thrones. Exactly. I don't know. Start with the D. D A. It's like dragon something, isn't it? like dragon draconis draconian. I don't know. draconian draconian, draconian sure. steel. So he yeah. stole that one from his father. Yes. Went to the, um, like the library place, okay. and they were like, mm -hmm. "Forget about this guy." Here's the thing: we'll see him another season. Hear me out. Worst storyline in the show ever. Exactly. Nope, not them. Um, what's his name? Dart. What's his name? Bart Simpson. No, who's the little fucking kid, <laughs> like the Raven guy? Oh, the three eyed Raven oh, can't walk. Oh, um, Jesus Christ! What's it? I can't remember his name now. If you would have said that Brat. bullshit, Bran. Mark. Bran. Yeah, it's, uh, he came for Bran the Builder, which will come I back. I hope <laughs> I'm be Bran the Builder is the one that built the wall. If it does, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, my God. If he, I can't stand he that He can time story, travel. Which is why he's the dumbest character in the show. Because you know why? Because that's what I call lazy-ass writing. He's no longer a starter. George R.R. Martin He's wrote himself into a builder. fucking great corner of incredible writing and then went, motherfucker, how do I get out? Oh, time travel, I guess. That's how that went. Come yeah, on. Man. Man. Everyone's saying Bran. That's what it is, Bran. Yeah, yeah. Bran is miserable, um, dude. Yeah, because Bran the Builder was <laughs> um, the king that built the wall that separated the White Walkers from uh, the... That's the theory. I get it. I hate it. It's not the theory. It that's, is. That's literally what it was. No, it's the theory. <laughs> He's called Bran the Builder. He built the wall. The theory is that he built the wall because you have to use time travel to make that real. Why? Well, it's just because history. the wall exists as he's a fucking child. Okay, he's named after oh, that okay. king. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. What a dumbass. Sorry. <laughs> I had a hot take. I didn't listen to your whole story. No, you never do. So here's the thing. Brands, I, I can't, I don't like it because it, it felt like it was like, hold the door, the stupidest fucking yeah. part of the whole show. I'm fucking cry. <laughs> it didn't. Oh, you're I, a fucking No, monster. I got legit upset when I watched that part. I watched that part of my... Oh, this better not be how this fucking works out. This better not be how this works out. Because if this is how you're going to write this part of the story, somebody messed up somewhere. Because you're writing out the fact that you're lazy now and you don't know what you're doing anymore. Oh, my gosh. The brand part annoys me so much. I know that's flames. I think so that's your least favorite storyline for sure, then. What's up? That's your least favorite storyline for sure is the whole brand. Yeah. Bran and Arya. Arya is like could have been so much cooler than it was. Yeah, I liked where yeah. it started. I didn't like where it ended. She's a badass. Yeah. Could have been cooler. Uh, She's like a faceless warrior. She spent a whole season at that. Thing. Like I think that was my issue. She li literally the last season opened it with uh, feeding. Um, was one of the phrase all of his sons in a pie. <laughs> so what? that part's cool. Here's the problem. The season before that, yeah, she, she was, a badass. She was at that stupid fucking house. That would have been, yeah. would have been on the video if we had one. I think we don't. Um, who's your favorite <laughs> character of the whole show, Chris? What'd you say? Who's your favorite character of the whole show? Oh man, boy, that's a tough question. Preferably still alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <All> right. <laughs> um, I mean, probably probably Jon Snow, honestly. I mean that's the, like the easy answer to give, but like it really is. Hey, it, fucker. Help Can't help it. I think the hound for me. Oh, the really? the hound. Is great. The hound. I think the hound and Redbeard. Yeah. Two favorite characters. Redbeard, like every time he's on camera, just cracks me up for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but, yeah. Those two, mm. those the hound and Redbeard are just down to kill and fuck, and that's it. Um, mm -hmm. nothing else. There's no other motive. There's no ulterior. Like, right. 
The money doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. Nope. I'm I, in. I really I like Arya's um, storyline. <laughs> dumb. So dumb. Watch me. Hey, let me take off your face 400 times. Oh, that's fun. She came back and like she's the one that rooted out Littlefinger. I like parts of her story a yeah. lot. I don't like how they yeah. handled like the main portion, how okay, she got there. Whatever. That's my issue with okay. it. So I like her storyline a lot, sir. Um, man, like I think that for me was one of the best evolutions of the series. I I just I like where she I really like where she's at, and I really like when she was with the Hound. Yeah, I don't like the in between part of that. That's my only issue. Okay, my issue is she meets this guy. They go to the temple. He starts training her, and she starts Shaken. fighting. That part's cool. But then it's like she has this weird lull where nothing really happens with her, and she's still at this temple. So at that, so like you got to feel okay for storytelling's sake, like everything's going on, like it can't always be centricated about. Just one don't person. show her though. So it's like just don't show her though. But they still have to show that she's still alive and happening, and things they are don't. Yeah. They don't, or make, make it more interesting. Focal point, or make yeah. it more interesting. Your writers, this is your job though. It'd be like if I said, well, like, well, that server's broke, but this other stuff's up. So in the meantime, that one's okay. Not every. <laughs> Line can be at a peak Gosh. at every fucking time. John Snow's has been at a peak for 17 seasons straight. Well, the cat got out. And, uh, we're now looking at what it looks like when we drink all the fucking time. What'd you say, Chris? I said he started as the bastard child. That's that's the Dude, whole that's the whole thing. Like he rose from the child to the top, you know. Yeah, man. John Snow, John Snow's story has like been a pretty consistent yeah. um I mean Targaryen. Hundred percent usage. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I love the hound and Redbeard. Redbeard just constantly she wanted to have out. sex with Brian. The hound, <laughs> all he wants to do is fight people. I, they're just the, I think that they're the most they're both very simplistic, but they're both so entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Like it's just so dumb, just fun child, humor. Yeah. 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 Cersei is him. Cersei's probably the most interesting character in the whole show. Ooh, she just killed some motherfuckers. Well, she's a bad guy, but she's like it's almost like this weird, like ethical, moral thing. Until she blew up the stadium, it was like this weird ethical, moral thing of like, is she, I get she's a bad person, but she's doing it for what she thinks are the right reasons. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Dan, Dan. Uh, that's called a psychopath, Dan. A psychopath. I mean, you know, <laughs> literally what I mean with her. Did you? you know? <laughs> so much red raspberry. Um, um, and then Tyrion. Tyrion's probably my all around like. I don't know. I hope he makes it. I'm like such that's a fan that's of one Tyrion. character that yeah. I really hope he I makes it. I wish she wines earlier said that Tyrion's gonna die. We should kick him out of chat. Okay, we that's cool. kick him out of hey, chat. Hey, that's why we told your wife that, <laughs> that <laughs> by totally asking. That's, that's why we cockblocked that that um, uh boss hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is Pepper again. Because she's apparently feeling very lonely. I don't know. I feel like Tyrion, he's such a good character, but like, if there's one thing we've ever learned with Game of Thrones, it's you cannot trust the writers. They could kill anyone at any time for any reason. Any he's reason. too good of a character is the problem. Yeah. So like, you gotta expect that heartbreak. You do. That's, that's what they do. Yeah. So what happens, I'm gonna watch two weeks of Game of Thrones just be gutted from that experience. Be like, oh my god, they just keep killing people. What mm -hmm. is happening? And then I'm gonna watch Endgame and be like, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna blow your mind. Yeah, man, man. it's a good it's a good time for cinema right now, though. I'll it say is. that. Yeah, the interesting thing will be so Game of Thrones has what six episodes? Eight. Eight? I think it's eight. Mm -hmm. I think the final season's eight. They're all an hour and a half. Yeah, Maybe. probably hour to an hour and a half. Yeah, they're all supposed to be long. So they're all basically mini movies now. Here's my parrot. Um, she likes shoulders. Her so loud. <laughs> Um, I'm really looking forward to where the show goes, but the, the, the I can't imagine HBO's position. Their the biggest money. show, no, no, their biggest show ever is ending. Yeah, done forever. Yeah, but 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 there's it's already been talks of like the money. Money. The show. Though. That's true. They're good. Yeah. Now they have a few other like originals right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, they have a few I other originals, but nothing anywhere near Game of Thrones. I probably do. 
I'm sure they'll do like a, you know how The Walking Dead did. Um, I eat spinoff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's what Chris just said that. I'm sure he's right. I'm sure they'll do something, but. Oh, good luck. She shed me. I'm one of their writers, so, you know, a, a group of the writers right now was like, shit, we got to come up with something good. Like, I now. need a paycheck. Yeah. Um, I think the thing is, though, like with the season, like with the series ending, it's like, are they going to do it the way people want? Yeah. You know, right. That's going to be the, the cool question. You know? Yeah, I agree. He said he's going to die. He didn't want him to die. Still out, still kicked out. Even knowing, even saying that's gonna happen, like you're putting in the universe. I know, like Tyrion is such a badass of badasses. Yeah, um, he really is. Series. He, he's really like pulling the strings behind the scenes, you know. Dude, he's. I mean, it's not even behind the scenes anymore. Like, no, it's not, not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. It was like so upfront. It was like, I want to crush my family, and I yeah, will right. do. It. Here's how. <sighs> such a. Woo! He's just always drunk. Yeah. Such it's a, a good, good way to be. Such a good character, man. He such drinks and he knows things. Right. Yeah, that's right. God. This one's amazing. No wonder. What's that one? I uh, literally can't drink another one. Well, I still have so much left. That's because you poured like 14 MGP girl <laughs> groups and we're like, you know, this will go well. Okay. Wait, 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 which one did you pour there, Sean? Um, yeah, that is scotch. That is the, uh, that's the artifact. Smell this next. Don't smell anything in between. That's Russell's reserve. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Promise. All right. Um, I have the Buffalo Trace, uh, Martha's Vineyard. Oh, nice. I don't know why I got in Italian Boston on that one. <laughs> From Boston? Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know what happened on that one, but yeah, uh, Martha's Vineyard. Okay. Um, that one, whoo, that's good. That one's yeah. probably one of my favorites. Well, it's like you said, like all these Buffalo Trace picks are just solid. Like you really can't go wrong, you know? Well, that's interesting. That's different. Yeah, I feel like uh, for 26, 30 bucks, I feel like, you're like in a good that's place. a bit darker. Mm hmm. I feel like you're in a good place. I feel like those are such easy buys. I think I think that's one of the reasons that they're one of my favorites is because you don't generally walk into a store and be like, "Should I buy the Buffalo Trace store pick?" Yeah, when it's twenty six ninety nine or whatever. This one's like whatever. in that uh, like fig plum level of like dark sweetness. I like it a lot. It's different. It's like really off profile. Mm -hmm. Not what I expected. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's probably one of my favorite. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it's that. It's hard to stuff go back. What did you say? It's hard once you go to Scotch to go back to uh, to bourbon. Dude, I tell you nah. why I smelt it. I mean, I smell with yeah. bourbon again. I'm like, oh, heaven. <laughs> it's not. Jesus has come it's for not, me. Oh. <laughs> it's harder for me to go to Scotch than go back at anything. Because, like, usually for Scotch, like like I said, I like I have to get in there for a while and really get that, like, smoky characteristic to just, like, get more mellow. Mm -hmm. From there, like I can start picking out more things, but like the first smell is I was just like, that campfire. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, next one. You just got to burn yourself out on that I, smell. I have a hard time going to uh, from bourbon to Irish. Like a really hard time. Oh, you do. <laughs> if I go from bourbon to Irish and I'm not ready, I just think Irish tastes like shit. And I don't, I don't dislike Irish whiskey, but You're such a bitch. you definitely don't like Irish whiskey. She's like bourbon, though. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. yeah we just learned that tonight that Dan only likes bourbon. Yeah, uh, pretty much. What, what about old Forrester store picks? I feel like those are pretty hit or miss. Oh, you want to you know, say hit or miss? Yeah. Because I said that a couple times tonight. You're like, rah, rah, rah. yeah, but I'm wrong. Um, no, on those ones, they um, the variance is so much higher. Mm. I agree. That's probably one of the highest varying store picks I've ever had. Um, I feel most of them are mediocre that you're paying more for like just mediocre 1870 like or something like what? that. Like on the row. Like I don't oh, like it's okay. just so mediocre here, old forester. But rephrase it cuz Unfortunately, a lot of the old Forrester store picks around here are priced high. Okay. I there are like Novi's is like fifty five bucks. All right. So it's the same price. So 
normally more than not, I feel like old Forster store picks that I've personally had are um, mediocre, like store <coughs> picks. Um, there's been, I think, two. I think okay. <laughs> I think gonna do keep up. I think there are two that I've literally had. I'm like, whoa, that's something. If you're in Michigan and you don't know that Novi store, Novi Party Store has some of the best old Forest store picks in the game. Yep. It's just some of the picks. And the Wine Garden has really um, good old Forest you know, store. Oh my store god, picks. that's why their uh, Russell's pick sold out in like thirty days. Oh my gosh, not even. Did you say thirty? Three. Oh yeah. Three. Chris, did you hit up uh, any stores down there when you were in Detroit? No, no. Oh. I, I I meant to, but then we just got so busy doing other stuff. I never made yeah. it out. It makes sense, man. Yeah. Uh, the Wine Garden has a couple really good old Forster store picks right you. now. Uh, I think they're fifty-five or sixty each. Yeah, um, I should have. Were... Should have because everyone talks about all those. I even asked on on like Michigan Bourbon Club. I was like, "Where do I go in Detroit? I'm heading to Detroit," you know. But, dude. I tell you what, did, like that area, basically thirty minutes around that area has a lot I of good. You see this tail. A lot of good stores with a lot of good picks. The wine Garden has some really good picks. No, my party store has some really good picks down there. I um, I really wish we had got to that uh, Russell's pick though, because mm -hmm. people like I just keep seeing pictures of people killing the bottle. It's been a week. Yeah, it's been out. For and a it's week. like, huh? They're like, this is one of the best <laughs> Russell's pick ever. I was like. Hate you. Yeah. Hate went, you. I, I feel like that had to be a short bail from how fast it went. They said it was. Okay. They said it was pretty short. I mean, it was more than wasn't 50 bottles, but okay, it was so maybe 150 bottles. Still, and they had two picks. It was one per person. Gone. Yeah. Mm. That that's something that like so about we talked about earlier in like our go-to store pick. My go-to store pick right now I'm trying to find is Russell's. We blow through uh, – like a good Russell's will blow through pretty fast, actually. Mm -hmm. Usually when we warm up, it'll be About like that, that uh, Russell's store pick and stuff if we find a good one. but What was the one that we had? Which one? The one that I went – the one that I had just bought? Uh, I don't know. It was gone like two weeks. Oh, that was a Novi. Okay. Yeah, that one was gone like lickety split. Yeah, that was, that was uh, one that – Anytime we went to shoot, we both grabbed that to warm up with. It was like, all right, yeah. Um, just amazing. Yeah. That one was crazy. Yeah, the, the, the store pick game is, like, ridiculous. Yeah. Store picks are just awesome. Awesome values for bottles, you know? Yeah. More, more often than not, yeah. Value? yeah. For value's sake, they're – I don't know. For value's sake, I don't know that there's something better. But – yeah. They are going to be more hit or miss than like the typical bottle, obviously. Yeah. Well, that's the Get him. that's kind of the point, you know. The whole yeah. Deal, so risk versus reward there for sure. Yep. Exactly. <clears throat> She's an entire gallon of water a room right. away. Are you ready to shut this down? I'm about to drive home. All right. You ready? Yeah. One forty-five. Oh, we've been going almost three hours, though, boys. <laughs> All right. Another, another, another bourbon junkie live stream for you. I don't have a timer, up, so um, I don't see that one. We're very good at doing that. Yeah, that's a yeah, problem. Yeah. There, uh, Richie Z said, I wonder if there's any McKenna's 10 picks. Um, there, I believe there are were a handful, um, probably eight eight years ago or something like that. There were a handful of McKenny, McKenna. McKenny. McKenny. There were a handful McKenny. of McKenna 10 store picks. Um I've seen a few go on secondary for ass nine amounts of money. So, mm -hmm. DJ Beacon, great live chat. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Yeah, hundred percent. Anyone that's still here, holy shit! Thank you so much for sticking around. Yeah. Apparently for three hours. Outrageous. Yeah, pretty much um, outrageous. We're we're pretty good at just sitting around talking to people and losing track of time. Talking some shit, drinking some whiskey. It's kind of the thing. It's, it's the idea, right? So Dan kind of. Thought he'd drink whiskey. Dude, I feel like I drank so much whiskey. No, you just poured so much whiskey. <laughs> like, <laughs> like Gosh, I dude. kept watching you pour things. I was like, that's too much, bud. Yeah, you weren't wrong. I mean, I'll finish. I'll probably finish one of those before I leave. So Yeah, it's fine. Well, I mean, we still got to pick up and yeah. sit around for a while. Pack everything up. 
All right. Did you all hear that Heaven Hill bottled and bond six years coming back what? at a higher price? So, so I actually did a Heaven Hill tasting like you know like a month ago maybe, and the rep there said that it's not discontinued. It's actually Kentucky only release is what they said. This is what she told me. Kentucky only release. They're not distributing right now, but they're hoping to year like next year, maybe the year after, once they get more supply to start redistributing throughout the country instead, which I. I thought it was completely opposite. I thought it was completely discontinued. That's funny. Heaven um, Hill announced that it was they discontinued. They literally did. I guarantee it. We uh, could find it on social media. Yeah, maybe, so, maybe she, maybe she's just just bullshitting or whatever. Well, but I mean, that's, but, well, if they're bringing it back, it's probably her covering their ass on. Could be. We didn't realize how much of an upset it would probably be to like. Uh, there was a yeah. big social media. Not even upset, that. So. Just um, what yeah. what could we make off this? Yeah. Like oh, one yeah. the day after it got discontinued, what, 60, 80 started, bucks a pop. Yeah, you started watching going secondary, and you're just like, it's double, triple. No, you're like, I, what the? Yeah, I think I, huh? what we saw. I think we saw one move for people, eighty bucks. People were saying, yep. of it. Said, yeah, I thought, I thought two, two were listed for one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> two of them. Like what? Of them, they co- it cost that or person twenty dollars. Or you you buy two bottles of uh, Willet for your ride, yeah, and seriously, you yeah. actually appreciate your choice. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. A few other people saying thanks for the live stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much. Um, if we, you haven't subscribed to us, please do that. In Bourbon Sane. If you haven't subscribed to Bourbon Sane, please do that. Um, we love doing live streams. Um, yeah. We did not yeah. know how much fun they were literally until three weeks ago. I told Sean he didn't believe me. <laughs> I think my exact words were like, we're going to get in trouble because we're going to want to do it all the time. Um, no, that I could literally find that text, yeah. um, of that exact thing. Yeah. Like, it was like, Hey, this might be too much fun. I was like, All right, cool. It is, we did it. it was like, that was fun. I know it's so easy when you're talking to chat and drinking it, just the time flies. Uh, flies. First one we did together was like 40 minutes because we were doing the, another round with Scotch yeah. Test Dummies and Bourbon Blind, some other people. My Bourbon Journey. And uh, we were doing that, and uh, I'm like, we got to go. And Sean looks over, he's like, why? I'm like, dude, it's been 50 minutes. He's like, what? Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Just goes, dude. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, even on that, we had, like, um, topics we were supposed to hit. And yeah. uh, for that, like, chaos ensues. You have drinks. Yeah. You talk about one or two topics. Sean got me that night. Not on the Sean last got shmammy that night. Um, <laughs> on the uh, basically after hours, like we just sat around and talked for a while. Um, I'm like I didn't even drink that last like hour. I was just drinking water, but everything just caught up to me. It was like, oh my god! All right, let's just sit around a little bit longer. It took Sean two hours to try to tell a story. I'm like, all right, bro, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And this is what live streaming that, that I think that was my first live stream. That was, yeah. Well, we did our 40 minute and then we went into like the hour with uh another round and then we went like an hour and a half afterwards yeah. just with those guys hanging out. So, didn't, didn't understand the uh the ebb and flow of that <laughs> whole thing. And uh, like, <laughs> we, we cut it up. into the another or like the another round show, yeah. And you're like, damn, dude, I've had like four. I'm like, oh. shit yeah I, uh, I had to just sit there and pound pretzels and water for a while to get home he's like all right hopefully you don't mind me just sitting over here for a minute he's like yeah you're fine so uh, i definitely learned my lesson on that there is a learning curve on drinking and live streaming yep yeah my, my, my first like two live streams went almost two hours and it was just you know back-to-back drinks like non-stop <laughs> Yeah, so it just happens. it just happens naturally. You can't help it. Yeah, I've gotten better on spacing, um, hundred yeah. percent, and pours. So even when yeah. we're, like, we're drinking quick, it's usually like maybe a quarter really to half an ounce. Thing. Yeah. So nothing's been heavy except for Dan. You drink that. Dan drinking. Well, so normally, what normally this wouldn't have been an issue, but like I didn't eat very much today at all. And so now, like, I haven't eaten since what time? It's 11, I haven't eaten in 13 hours. 
If it's How do you only think this is like except my the girlfriend cheese. does keto, except and the we have an entire there. fridge full of shit you could eat. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I whiskey she wines was in here basically the whole time. Yeah. Um, at some point we were going to do some sort of collab with them. I was in their live stream the other night, hanging out with them. Uh, their live stream the other night was a good time as well. So if you haven't, we'll do something like this. Check that. Check their channel out. They do whiskey reviews at yep. the moment. Um, appreciate that, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. that. And I throw my squinty eyes on here pretty far away. <laughs> Change races for a bit. Uh, oh, so anyways. Yeah, no, it was a good time. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks, Chris, for collabing with us and uh, going to Valentine, dude. It was a Yeah, blast. dude, that was so much fun. Like, it, it's yeah. really fun to go down there together, and then it's extra fun to go down there with someone else there that is in the, the exact same mindset and mm -hmm. world that we're in. Community. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. And, and I definitely want to do more. If you guys, yeah, uh, you know, if oh, you guys yeah. want to do anything else extra, let me know. Yeah, I'm man. definitely – I'm sure, like realistically, Pepper says hi. If we can get, uh, if I can get something going, if I can get something planned here, I'll let you know. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody else can look forward to probably hey. more collabs and stuff. If we're ever, if realistically, if I'm ever over there, I'll hit you up. And yeah, if you're sure. ever over here, yeah. which there's nothing over here, but if you're here, hit us up. We uh, yeah. we literally have nothing. It was a good time. We have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Dow. Get him. Central Michigan University. That's we went idea. there, yeah. All right. It's All two right. Different, two different cities. Cool. Thanks, everybody, for being here. 100%. Thanks for watching, hanging out. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for subbing, liking, commenting. Thank you for your Patreon support and everything else. Uh, Ooh, look at that pitch. Nailed it, man. This is the best. <laughs> Ken Patterson. I whiskey she wants says, let's do a collab with us, Bourbon Sane, and them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. 100%. Anytime. Yeah, for sure. Start. We'll start our... Uh, I have a few ideas for hey. some live stream stuff, so yep. we might have to pursue that a little bit. Peppa I've, I've talked about it with Sean and a couple others, and it didn't necessarily go anywhere, but uh, maybe we'll start something. So Being yep. great. All right. Yeah. Sean's obsessed with the cat. We'll talk to you guys yeah, later. Look how adorable this cat is. Oh, my is. gosh. I'm ending it. See you guys. See you guys. Later, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. See you, man. See you, guys. If we stop streaming, we're still in with him, right? <laughs>